so. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, tonight's wonderful, extravagant episode of The Rod of Seven Parts. My name is Jordan, with a silent PH in the middle. And this is potentially the final episode. We will see what happens in our game tonight. But let's go around and meet our players uh, before their untimely demise. Player characters, I should say. Uh, we'll start with Brenna. Hi, I'm Brenna. I'm playing Rakiri, the Aarakocra Celestial Warlock and the wielder of the Rod of Law. Yeah, so yeah, Rakiri is the, the wielder of the Rod of Law. She has all of those lawful powers. Uh, and then we will go right over to Lex. Hey, I'm Lex, and I'm playing Shifter, the Illusionist Wizard. Ooh. Uh, LB, who are you playing? Hi, I'm LB Hack. I'm up and Ollie playing Siren, the Tiefling Rogue Fighter. Ooh, so exciting. And last but certainly not least, uh, Mr. Ted, who is hosting us here on your channel. Who are you playing? And any announcements for the evening? Uh, well, I'm Ted, and I'll be playing Lagwin, the High Elf Blade Singer. Uh, the chosen one, as as yeah. those who are in the know call him. The best, if you can work that into tonight's episode, I mean, chef's kiss. Yeah. Good, so. <laughs> well, we'll see what I can do. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, um, but no, uh, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing to announce. Uh, just uh, lots of fun stuff from all of our friends. We'll hear about that at the end. So let's jump in and see if we die. Awesome. Or win. Uh, yeah. Live or die, we're gonna see. So, last week on a very special run of seven parts, our heroes explored the Citadel of Chaos, the home of Miska the Wolf Spider, which is encased in a giant cocoon of law. Uh, they ran into a fiend, um, a, a naked uh, female form with uh, bat wings coming out of her back. Um, and she offered them maybe some assistance if they uh, hand over the rod, Miska can go back to the abyss. Uh, kind of try to make a deal with them because they want Miska to come back to help out with the blood war. But uh, Siren, who was possessed by a uh, Yaklol, which is a, a demon of Lolth, uh, decided to fire her crossbow uh, at this fiend, uh, chased the fiend away. Um, so they lost that uh, avenue. <laughs> More exploration brought them to a room of dark obsidian walls, uh, floor and ceiling. The final rod fragment it was in the center of a raised platform. Lagwin uh, performed a magic circle spell around that area and they assembled the rod within the magic circle, keeping fiends out. Once the rod was assembled, the full power of law flowed through Rikiri as she gained new powers and uh, is got a, like a plus five crazy uh, pole arm now, or not a pole arm, but a staff weapon spear, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I wrote the game, whatever. Uh, no, I didn't. Order Miska staff. appeared uh, shortly, not shortly, like immediately. Um, and Miska is a gigantic spider-legged creature with a male human torso, four human arms, and two wolf heads on either side of his human center head. And Miska wants days. the Rod of Law. Um, he was kind of testing the uh, area, um, trying to see if he can get in. I believe... I can attack, or Miska can attack, just at disadvantage mechanically. Correct. Uh, was there anything you 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 wonderful people wanted to do, or should we just jump right into initiative? Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's not like we can go shopping right now. Yeah, it's just like no, yeah. take a long rest. You know, <laughs> flashback <laughs> scene. Remember that time? I magically have a grenade. I was gonna say, remember that time we had a long rest? Let's. How about we flash back to that time where we had long rest before this? Remember that? We'll start introducing yeah, when flashback I got mechanics. by a demon. And then yeah. we couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Um, and you couldn't figure it out. We, we it tried. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, Jordan, I need to know how many rounds you're going to let me have on my globe of invulnerability. Oh, because you cast that. Uh, yes. All right. Yeah. Let's see how. Uh... If you want to give me a limited number of rounds? That's fine. It normally lasts for one minute, but obviously I cast it before combat began. Yeah, you did. Um, it lasts for one minute. One minute is six rounds. No, ten rounds. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will give you a globe of invulnerability for uh, seven rounds. How about that? Ooh. Yeah. I'll That's take a generous, it. Dan. Wow. Um. Um, I would like to check my mood ring to, you know, get some like 
Okay. <laughs> like inspiration and uh. <laughs> uh, like feel pure noir flowing through me. Mm -hmm. Just real quick look down and you're like, like, come on, Kieran, <laughs> like, yeah. give me, give me something here. Yeah. Um, well, that's fun, but then I have to go look <laughs> at all these emojis to find the right one, and I'm like, I don't know. Uh, I do like the poop uh, emoji. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna go with um, the uh, exclamation point, uh, double exclamation point. I think is what Ooh, we're gonna do. The red double exclamation point. Yes, exactly okay. that. So. Um, Kierno is excited for our imminent victory. Well, that's reassuring. Um, okay, well let's let's roll initiative. Well, we're gonna God. we're All gonna right. do this amazing final final fight. Uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, siren. Oh no! I wasted twenty. Fuck. Hold on. Hold Eleven. On. 11, Lagwin. 25. Wow. Uh, Shifter. 17. Ooh. And Rikiri. 13. 13? 14. 14. Um, well, congratulations. Most of you go before uh, Miska. So Lagwin, top of the round. Oh, Giant uh, wolf spider. Yeah. G gigantic, I should say. Yeah, no, he's he's a big boy. Um, ah, yeah, well, I, I feel like there's no way we're getting out of this without fighting him. So uh, I you think run we're real fast when you're hasted. So I, I can't I mean, I'm real good at that. Uh, I caught that goblin in like episode five so fast. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. Uh, no, I guess we're going to it's time to time to do the thing. So I'll, I will. I will do blade song. Bonus action. Uh, and I will haste as an action. And that will be my my Oh, and then I uh, how close is he to the circle? Let's me ask you that. Uh no, he's he's not within melee distance. You'd have to leave the circle. Yeah. Then I will take Oh, wait, can I do as a hasted action? Hang on. I nope. I was gonna say I will hide, but I can't hide in the middle of a thing with a yeah, sword made out of sunlight. Out. So, <laughs> um, yep. Nope. I'm good. I'll I'll just hang out right there. So and your magic circle is a ten foot circle, or it is. Let me tell you in a second. I have here. a diameter or radius right now. Yeah, it is a 10 foot radius, so a 20 foot diameter circle. Okay. There you go. Uh, and uh, what about your globe of invulnerability? Oh, that's a better question. Um, oh, I don't have it in front of me. No. I think it's a, I think it is uh, a 15 foot diameter, but yeah, let me check. And is that to cover all of you guys? I mean, I'm well. trying to, to cover everybody. Uh, no, it's a 10 foot radius as well. So it's exactly the same. The same distance. Super oh, wow. Radius. Okay. And he, I guess I should look at Globe of Invulnerability. Uh, I talked about it a little bit last time, but it's yeah. fifth level or below. Cast from outside the barrier can't affect creatures within it. Uh, and it's like, even if, say, he cast a fireball that's centered like next to the globe, that fire would not be Penetrate able to affect globe. us. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, AOE so it stuff doesn't get spells. around it. Yes. Okay. Not a not awesome. anything else. Just spells. I was I was wondering if it was like a shield that he had to break through or something, but no. With physical attacks, but yeah. Uh, stops spells. That's that's awesome. Okay. Um. Well, that was Lagwin's turn. Shifter, you're up. It's my turn. I'm gonna cast yeah. a spell. <laughs> um. You are let's... concentrating on this globe of invulnerability. It's way. true. I'm not gonna cast a concentration spell. <laughs> Um, let's just go with it. A good, a good little, a good little, um, uh, if oh. <laughs> I was gonna, well, I was gonna say lightning bolt and then I remembered blink isn't concentration, but when I blink, does the globe go away? <laughs> mm, oh, when you, when you disappear. Yeah. Um, I would say no. 
Okay. Um, because the you're still concentrating on it. Yeah. So I'm going to cast Blink on myself because it's not concentration. We're still early enough on where I'm going to, you know, keep buffing myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, I'm going to cast Blink and then see what happens at the end of my turn. Um, oh, I remain in the plane of limbo. Okay. Rick Fury. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're in pandemonium. So. so so we're still within like the bubble right now. You are within mm -hmm. the magic circle. Double, uh, double and bubble. also the globe of invulnerability. <laughs> double bubble. Uh, yes. Um, how far away is Miska from us at this point? Uh, he's probably like twenty feet. Okay, and spells can like pass. Our spells. Yes. Can pass if through. yeah, your spells can go out of the globe. It's just spells <laughs> from outside the globe can't get into it. Okay. I just have so many options now. It's hard to hard to know what to do. You could turn um, into a dragon. <laughs> I know. I could. <laughs> Don't worry, I have not forgotten. I have the character <laughs> sheet pulled up. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> no, it's good. Um, you know, I'm just gonna like get a little warmed up. I think I'm gonna start with some Eldritch Blast. All right. So I get three of those babies. Um, I've got an 18, a 19, and a 19. All three miss. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> well, well, I did say I was getting warmed up. <laughs> uh, anything else for Kiri? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Miska's turn. He's going to walk up to uh, the side of the circle that has Rikiri because he can't get into the circle. Oh. Um, and I have disadvantage on attacks, correct? Correct. Because of the circle, but I can still attack. As far as I can tell, yeah, it just says yeah, okay. you can't willingly enter it. You have disadvantage yeah. on attack rolls against targets within it, and you can't charm, possess, or frighten a creature within it. Okay. So yeah, it, it sounds like you can, just with a disadvantage. Okay, cool. So I'm going to disadvantage attack Rikiri. Um, and that is a uh, 22. Yeah. All right, so you don't take any damage, but he gets one hand on the rod. Really? Oh, can he not do that? He can't do it. He can't reach in. I guess he can't reach in. He can't enter it. So, like, a weapon could come through it. Okay, but you not see what I'm saying? physically. So he wouldn't be able to grab it. Okay. He, yeah, he can't punch us, but he could swing a glaive or a sword or whatever okay. through it. Well, then it's... you'll take uh, 22 points of damage. <laughs> 16 <laughs> slashing and 6 necrotic. Okay. Good thing I have that temporary damage or temporary hit point. Yeah. And he'll uh, do another one, and this is a 19 to hit at disadvantage. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Um, for uh, 11 slashing with a scimitar and nine necrotic for a total of 20 damage. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh Lagwin, your armor class can handle this, right? Or I'm sorry, I guess uh Lagwin, your uh your defenses can handle that, right? <laughs> uh yes, but uh it's like we're all like in a little like little <laughs> cube, like just watching everybody try to cuddle as close to the yeah. middle so it can't get us. <laughs> oh man. Yes, for for now, I suppose. All right, and he'll stay right there. Siren, what would you like to do? Something stupid. All right, oh, I'm boy. my father's daughter. Let's go. Uh, Siren, he is right up on this thing, right? Yeah, he's right next to the circle. Uh, Siren's going to reach out of the circle and touch his, I was going to say his leg, but one of his legs. Uh, and I'm going to need him to make a, a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay, this is a spell? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, really bad. That's a 10. Okay, so uh, I cast Bestow Curse upon him. Okay. Uh, so Siren's eyes go black and she starts speaking in a uh, demonic language that he can understand, but she can't. Um, and uh, she like 
this black ichor moves from her hand onto him as she pulls back into the orb and says, I can't believe that works. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Does she say that? Oh, in her head. We still 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 have Raris up. I forgot we had Raris up. My bad. Um, Blagwin's a master of ritual spells. (laughs) Just put them all out as much as we can. Don't let him touch me. And she's going to move behind everyone uh, so she can maintain the curse uh, for up to a minute. Um, Okay. And do you want me to send you what Bestow Curse does? Yeah, or I guess I can look it up. Don't you get okay. to choose or something? Um, yes, I get to choose one ability. Sc- okay, uh, you touch a creature, that creature I must succeed on it with the same throw or become cursed for the duration of the spell. When you cast a spell, choose the nature of the curse from the following options. I can choose one ability score that has disadvantage with ability checks and saving throws, uh, while curse the target has, or while the cr- curse target has disadvantage on attack rolls. Uh, while the curse target must make wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turn, if it fails, it wastes its action and ter- does nothing. Or while a uh, target is cursed, your attack uh, and spells deal an extra 1d8 damage, which I'm not going to do because I don't cast spells. So I think I think I'm either going to do the must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turns, or it wastes its turn. <laughs> or give it disadvantage on a certain ability check or saving throw. Do we have feelings about this? Mm, turn wasting is probably better. Okay. That was my... Yeah, I would agree. Okay. So I'm going to choose um, while the target is cursed, it must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turns. If it fails, it wastes its action that turn doing nothing. Wow. Okay. Uh, and this is concentration, uh, and the DC is, I, I wrote it down, the DC 17. 17. Right, okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, uh, and you're still in the circle. Yes, she moves to the back of the circle, uh, hunkers down on the ground, and like pulls out her <laughs> weapons. <laughs> uh, awesome. He will uh, use a legendary action to move up to his speed. Um, so he's going to move back like 25 feet. Um, and this does not provoke opportunity attacks. Lagwin. <sighs> All right. Well, here we go again. Uh, throw the throw the lights at throw. The yeah. Lights no, we're not going to do that. Uh, this is what Shifter is saying next. Yeah, shifter, I'm sure. Please. I'm sure. <laughs> um, Dude, you know, be dope. Throw the lights. At yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an option. Um, you won't catch it and eat it. It's fine. Yeah, it'll be totally fine. Uh, so how far back you said did he move? He moved twenty five feet. Uh, back? He moved twenty five feet back. Okay. Um, so I have an action, hasted action. Oh gosh, I don't want to. Wait a minute. I can leave the magic circle, and I can leave the globe of invulnerability, and I can go back into it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a. It's, it's just, just a like circle a, on the it's ground. It's like a bubble. Okay. It's magically he's prevented from getting in. But you could, like, go out, attack, and run back in if you want to, so. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to run out. Okay. And we're going to we're gonna test something out. I'm going to use uh, my, my Blade Singer-ness, and we're going to go with... Uh, my first attack's going to be Booming Blade. So we're going to okay. cast Booming Blade at him. For a... Come on, 23? 23 hits? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so that will deal to him uh, 12 points of radiant damage okay. and 12 points of thunder damage. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I'll make a secondary attack. Okay. For a natural 20. Why was this one not the natural 20 before? Blah, 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 blah. So six <laughs> dice instead. All right. Well, it'll be... I'm, I'm not going to complain about another 17 points of radiant damage. Uh, and then I will use my hasted action to disengage and go back into the circle. Okay, before you do that, <laughs> yeah. um, as your lightsaber or as your sunblade goes and like cuts through him, um, I, I need you to make two dexterity saving throws. So make one and then make another because okay. you attack twice. Gotcha, okay. So the first one is a 20. 
Okay. Dirty 20. And the second one is a 25. Okay, yeah. So you're fine. What um, happens? But as you cut him, uh, like green sludge just spews out of him like oh. ichor and mm. stuff. Um, yes. And yeah, it seems like as you are cutting him up, uh, he's he's spraying like uh, blood from the movie Aliens. Oh, great. So, Wonderful. Uh, uh, and then you disengaged and you ran back. Awesome. Shift. Yes. Oh, let's throw a good old fashioned uh, lightning bolt at Adam. Just see what kind of damage resistances you've got. Going yeah. On. Oh, yeah. I guess well, that's a good idea. We'll just we'll start running through the damage types. Yeah. Uh, all right. So Shifter is going to stop waving their hands around for the globe or they're gonna keep one hand waving around for the globe i assume that's how concentration looks right <laughs> and, yeah this is me sunblade yeah. sun blade haste every time every turn just and while they're doing that the other hand starts making some weird gestures and then they zap uh him with a bolt of lightning um it, please make a i believe it's dexterity saving throw which right. is a DC 16. All right, I roll a 25. All right. And that means you will be taking 12 points of lightning damage, assuming he is not immune or resistant to lightning. Uh, he is uh, resistant, so he will take six points of lightning. Ah, I noticed that. Um, and Shifter's, Shifter's like, aha, knowledge is power. And then uh, with a natural 20, Shifter disappears to the realm ethereal. I like it. I like it. Um, Rikiri. Yeah, um, I'm going to... <laughs> Um, so in between from where we are um, in the bubble and where Miska is, um, I'm going to cast Guardian of Faith um, and manifest the giant glowing golden owl who stands resolutely guarding us. Um, okay. So if Miska um, moves into the owl's space, he's going to have a rough time. Solid. All right. Um, now it is Miska's turn. Mm. Um, Miska is going to uh, move. He's going to skirt around your thing because he doesn't want to get hit by it. Um, and he's going to be uh, 30 feet away and he's going to use uh, webbing. So he unleashes a spider webbing that fills a 30 foot cube around him. The web is difficult terrain. Uh, it is lightly obscured uh, and lasts for a minute. Um, Did he make a and, wisdom saving throw? Oh, I didn't do a wisdom saving throw. That's right. Thank you. That's to waste his uh, lose his turn or waste his lose, action. Lose his action. So he still yeah. so he still moved. I take it. Yeah, that's true. Well, he's gonna then take ten points of thunder damage because he moved while I had him with booming blade, and the booming right. sheathing energy goes off and hits him. There you go. Here we're gonna. Um, yeah. So he rolled a fourteen. So he failed that. Correct. But it's correct because it's a failure. Right. So he does not use his action to do uh, webbing. Maintain the thing. And uh, that is his turn. Uh, All right. Siren, what would you like to do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get uh, Siren, Siren is completely panicking, uh, but she looks like she's fine. She is going to... Move... Well, okay, so there's a pedestal, right? Yeah, you guys are on it. Okay, Siren's going to move out of the bubble, which is a terrible idea, but I need to hide and I can't hide in the bubble, right? I can't hide like behind my friends. I would say no. Okay. You're not a halfling. Maybe if you were a halfling, but or small, I, I guess. I am going to move behind the owl, uh, behind the pedestal to gain some sort of stealth. I rolled a natural 20, so that's a 30. Oh. For stealth, okay. First stealth, which is going to be totally not useful because I'm going to shoot him, except for the fact that I get advantage. Oh, did he move into the owl? By the owl, no, when he moved, he moved oh. around. For gotcha. Me. Oh, I see. Skirted around. I gotcha. Because you guys are in a big. He's in a. He's walking around you. You guys are in the center of a big room. That's a big right. Circle. So okay. Mm -hmm. 
Does a 20 hit? Do you think that like, cause the range of the owl is 10 feet. So if I put it between us and him and he was 25 feet away, would he have been in the owl's range to move initially? Yeah, so the way I see it is like, like if this is your protective bubble yeah. and, and like this is Miska, like you can put it here, but then yeah. he'll go up here. Yeah, and gotcha. so your owl is still down there. Does that make sense? Right, but I'm wondering if he started his turn within 10 feet of the owl and then moved, would it trigger the owl? Oh yeah, he totally started his turn there. I didn't think about that, yeah. So if you want to roll some damage, you could. Uh, I don't have to roll, it's 20 radiant damage. Just 20 radiant straight up, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, does a 20 hit, that's what I heard. Yes. 20 does not hit. <laughs> Siren like shoots. She's like, yeah, and then it misses and she or it bounces off of her wherever. She goes, ooh, and just moves behind the owl. <laughs> not hidden, but she was. Boy, did he not know where she was. No one did. Uh, uh okay. Anything else? I don't know. That's it. Okay, this, this Lagwin. There is a, a bunch of webbing between you and Miska right now. Or is there not? Because he didn't have an action. Oh, he didn't do that. That's right. So, ha -ha, all right. Oh, uh, well, I guess, I guess we're just gonna, we're gonna go with more of the same and then see what happens if I get hit by, you know, alien xenomorph blood. Uh, I will run up to him. Mm -hmm. And then I will swing my sun blade with booming blade first, which is a 22 to hit. 22 hits. Thank God. Uh, 10 points of radiant damage and ooh, double eight, 16 points of thunder damage. Oh my gosh. And then secondary attack is a 24 to hit. That also hits. For 10 points of radiant damage. And then I will disengage, but I have to make saving throws, right? Yep, two saving two, throws. Two dexterity two saving throws. And they're all at advantage because of haste, so that's a 22 and a 21. All right, you save. Back into the spot. Shifter! Oh, I pop back <laughs> into the plane of pandemonium and see a siren outside the bubble, right? Because you didn't, uh, you weren't yep. able to get back in. Totally could have moved back in, but I didn't even think about yep. it. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, you're a rogue. You can't move back in. <laughs> the shifter's like, oh no. <laughs> uh... <laughs> And oh gosh, um, I'm gonna attempt to ray of frost, um, Miska. Okay. Mainly because ray of frost can slow creatures, so maybe he won't be able to get to Siren. <laughs> Ooh, that that should hit. That's like a twenty-six. Yes, that hits. Okay. Um. All right. Let's roll some frosty damage. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, 13 points of um, cold damage. Okay, he takes six. And his movement is reduced by 10 feet. All right, very good. Um, and then we're gonna see if I disappear. Uh, and I do. Oh, excellent. Rikiri. Okay, how are you, far And you're keeping we... track of your invulnerability shifter? I am. This okay, is round three. Yeah. Sorry, so Rikiri, how far... Ahead. That's okay. So how far away would he be now? Um, He's 30 feet from you, but we'll 30. say north instead of uh, this way. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm going to attempt to hold monster using the rod okay. of law. Um, so yeah, I take out the rod and it sends this like beam of energy toward him and I'm trying to like hold him in it. Um, so he has to make a whiz save. Wisdom saving throw. He rolled an 18. Oh, 17 was the DC. Oh, um, so close. I know. All right, yeah, so, so he breaks free of the... Uh, uh, of the hold that I had on him, so I'm not able to hold him. Um, I'll bonus action uh, healing light myself. Okay. 
Uh, now it is Miska's turn. Miska's going to make another wisdom saving throw. That is a 20. Um, so this doesn't go away. It just doesn't occur this round, right? Like I have to get the curse off of me Correct. some other way, I think. Yes. Oh, remove mm -hmm. curse spell. Okay. Or yeah. or it's wait, concentration. Or wait out the minute. Or, or damage yeah, it's concentration. Cool. Um, and he will... Oh, geez, you guys are messing him up. <laughs> um, I hope so. We're using very MMO tactics. We've got yeah. someone's got a shield. Run out, hit him, run back to the shield. We'll just kite him till the game is over. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's going to cast um, Mirror Image. So three illusionary duplicates appear of around him. Um, and so now there's like three to four Miskas running around. <laughs> Great. Um, and uh, that is his action. Um, and as far as movement, I think he's going to move back another 30 feet. All right. Because um, he... he knows that you guys are baiting him in. Then he's going to take 20 points of thunder damage. Holy cow. All right. Siren. If only I had true sight. <laughs> Where's that? Uh, and then she's going to go shooty shooty. Um, she Fixes everything. Her true sight. Hand crossbow. Uh, she's going to get stuck with foam. Uh, let's go, champ. Uh, uh, let me just double check bonus action okay so i'm gonna move back into the circle because uh there's no need for me to be out of it anymore um i'm gonna roll uh twice because i'm doing two attacks um not at advantage and i don't get um sneak attack because he can't he can see me right yeah cool so two attacks oh one's a nat 20 stay on the table please and one is a 25. Okay, both of those hit. Okay, so the nat 20 is... Hmm. Well, you've got a roll for the mirror images, right? Oh, I do. So okay. how does that work? <laughs> <I'm rolling> <laughs> <a> <laughs> <spell>. <laughs> so uh, I have to roll... You must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate. With two duplicates, you must roll an eight. With one duplicate, you must roll an 11. So I roll a d20. Mm -hmm. And if it's a six or higher, it hits a duplicate. Correct. Or do I roll? One. No, I do. Okay. So I rolled, rolling the dice, I rolled a 12. So you hit a duplicate. Okay. Um, the duplicate's AC is 10 plus your dexterity modifier. So this duplicate has a, uh, so you would still hit. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, nice if, an attack, one, hopefully. if an attack hits a duplicate, the duplicate is destroyed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Poof. So that's, right. that's the crit attack. Because that, that's yeah. attack number one. Yeah, exactly. What's the second attack? And then I roll another d20. Uh, you have to roll an eight or higher this time. And that's a natural one. So uh, you hit him. him. Okay, so that's just 1d6. But, oh boy, do I have an arcane shot that I can use. <gasps> oh. So I'm going to use a grasping arrow. Uh, mm -hmm. When the arrow strikes a target, uh, conjuration magic creates grasp. And this, oh, I just wanted to check that it wasn't concentration for whatever reason. Mm. Uh, uh, blah, 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 which wraps around the target. The creature hit by the arrow takes an extra 2d6 poison damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet. And it takes right. 2d6 slashing damage the first time uh, on each turn it moves one foot or more without teleporting. So I'm going to do 1d6 for the normal attack which is max damage. So that's plus three. So nine damage okay. on my plus one crossbow. So it's magical. And then for poison, it's uh, nine damage. Okay. He is immune to poison. Okay. It doesn't matter. But if he does move, he takes more slashing damage. So as the arrow slices into him, it kind of goes through part of his body and like vines shoot out and attach to the ground. Yeah. That's cool. Can I do I break free of this or does he just automatically take more damage? If he moves, he takes more damage. Uh, how do it, I get rid of it? Uh, just uh, it just lasts one turn. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. On the target, uh, 
let me just let me read the spell uh um, <laughs> the target or or any creature that can reach it can use its action to remove the brambles with a successful strength check against your arcane shot save dc otherwise the brambles last for one minute or until you use this option again oh shit yeah. if i'm not 18th level so I, you know reading uh, spells are important guys read the whole is thing. that concentration it is not okay it doesn't say concentration Fantastic. Lagwin. Uh, all right. Uh, so we've got two duplicates left. Yep. So there's three miskas floating around. Three miskas floating around. All right. Well, how far? He said he moved back 30 feet. Yeah. So he's like 60 feet away now. Not a problem. Uh, so I run over to him. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, I'll make my first attack with a booming blade. Okay which is a 20, which I think misses. Uh, 20 misses. All right. And then my second attack is uh, less than that. So that misses too. Uh, okay. And then I will disengage and I will run back. Okay. <laughs> you can 120 feet, hey? Oh, yeah. Well, my, okay. my standard movement is 80 feet. And okay. disengage is moving your movement speed again. So, yeah. Uh, shifter... What's going on? Uh, I pop back into existence and just say, this is going well. I think this is going well. Don't you think this is going well? I wouldn't say that. I feel like you're, you're jinxing us by saying uh, that, but all right. Come on. You're the chosen one. Now well, you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm glad you're finally coming to terms with who I really am. Uh, Jordan, I have a quick question. When mm -hmm. I cast Ray of Frost last round, did it look like he resisted any of the damage or did it just do normal amount of damage? Yeah, I think I said it It did half damage. So oh, okay. he resisted it. So good to know. Um, I'm going to... Um, uh, I'm just going to throw a magic missile at him. Okay. It's got a lot of first level spell slots <laughs> and I'm feeling pretty secure right now. Okay. Rolling 1d4 plus 1 and multiplying it the way magic missiles supposed to work uh four times three is 12 12 points of force damage all right yeah that's fun um he will does he cast shield and automatically negate it <laughs> no he doesn't have shield oh too bad um no he's okay so never mind uh ricky uh, oh go ahead did you have more sorry I stay on the plane of pandemonium at the end of the round. All right, good to know. Rick Heary. Yes. Um, I'm just, I, it's been so long since I've used an actual weapon. I have to like look up how I would use the Rod of Law as a staff because I don't remember how to use it. Can be, it can be a staff or a spear because it's got a pointed okay. end. That last rod well, piece I'm, is very I'm definitely sharp. not throwing it. That's not happening. <laughs> Uh, yeah, is I would he, not advise that. But. Is he still like rooted? Like from the Oh yeah, he's got he... the arcane tendrils on him. He hasn't moved yet, so. Okay. Hmm. I do all of this in one action. I probably can't. Yeah, no, that's an action. Okay, well, I'm going to get ready to do that. Um, I'm going to cast Otherworldly Form on myself. Okay. Um, which is one of my mystic arcanum benefits. Oh, yeah. Um. I'm going to channel the power of the lower planes. Um, so I'm immune to fire and poison damage. I'm immune to the poison condition. Um, spectral wings appear on my back, giving me a flying speed of 40 feet. I gain plus two bonus to AC. Um, all my weapon attacks are magical. And when you make a weapon attack, you can use your spell casting ability mod modifier for the attack and damage rolls, which is very nice. And I can attack twice instead of once. OK. But the otherworldly form is my action, and that lasts for a minute. OK. Is that concentration? It is. All right. Uh, it is Miska's turn. We're going to make another wisdom saving throw. Uh, and that's a 22. That succeeds. And he will stay the 60 feet back, but he's going to use that webbing. So um, he fills a 30-foot cube around him with web. Um, and it is uh, lightly obscured, so he's kind of hard to see. 
Uh, and uh, that's where we're at with the that. Uh, he if he hmm, he can't move. Hmm. I mean, he okay. can move if he wants to, but it's gonna, yeah. he's gonna take All right, Siren. from me. And that's <laughs> <laughs> my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh... Oh, I guess that's true. Um, I am going to hold my attack action. <laughs> Uh, until my friends are within five feet of it. And then, uh, but as a bonus action, I am going to, because I can't use my bonus action, then um, I'm going to, <clears throat> um, I guess I can't hide. I'm gonna stand there and look pretty. All right, done. Best use of a bonus action. The award goes to Siren. Um, okay, Lagwin. Okay, so. 30 foot cube around him. So, so he's in the center of the cube? Yeah, so I think it's 15 feet of uh, difficult terrain. Okay. If you ran into it. So, okay, so let's see. I've got, he's 60 feet away. It's 15 feet of difficult terrain, which means it would be essentially 90 feet to get to him, if I'm understanding that correctly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow that because I don't know the math. So. Well, I'm, I'm just guessing too because I have 80 feet. No, of movement, so 60 so. feet, but uh, it, it went forward. So 15 of that 60 is. So you're going 45, and then another 30, right? Was that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's okay. actually 75. Gotcha. Okay, so that I have enough movement to do that. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna... Oh, God, we're doing it again. <laughs> we are running in. <laughs> fighting through the webbing. Sunblade out. All right, the minute yep. uh, you you walk into the webbing, mm -hmm. uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. All righty. Uh, that is a 20. All right, you're good. Okay. You I'm... dodge the web somehow, <laughs> breaking free with your <laughs> yeah, slice, play slicing through. It's amazing. It's nimble but... elf feet. Yes, I am quite <laughs> the nimble elf. Uh, with and I will make my way in, and then I will, uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I guess. So we're <laughs> gonna go with booming blade, um, for my first attack here, uh, which is a twenty-eight. Yeah, that'll hit. Which will deal to him. 14 points of radiant damage Ooh. followed by four points of thunder damage. Ooh. Then we will use my extra attack. I'm to... sorry, are you rolling for the duplicates? Oh, no, I'm, oh, not. I'm not. Give me the Don't duplicates. Roll. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot he had them. I'm not a Give good Give me the DM. duplicates. Uh, natural okay. one, so you hit him. Okay, so that was fine. Second attack yep. is a 27, so I'll need another duplicate roll. Uh, that uh that hits but goes after a duplicate so we've got one duplicate left and let's see here what is the plan uh so actually i can just in theory <laughs> disengage and just run back well before uh, you do but siren was holding an so action why does disengage give you extra move it lets you move your dash. No, it lets you, you can move your movement speed. Dash is double movement. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misinterpreting. Wait, you don't have yeah, 120 that's... movement. That's right. Yeah. I don't have 120 movement. You're right. It's, uh, you're right. That is true. So this, so I'm stuck here for right now. Okay. But, well, Siren gets to attack, correct? Yeah, Siren does get to attack. Go ahead. As I am engaged with Miska. Yes, I'm going to use my sniper crossbow. I'm just like flipping between them because, you know, why not? Uh, so that is a 24 to hit. Uh, and you hit him. Okay. Uh, do I hit him, him? Yes. Okay. That's so what that... I just rolled. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, yeah. So that's going to be. Um, plus... So. Nerd oh god, my nerd immersion dice rolled a six. Look at that. Oh, well. Uh, 18, uh, 27, 29 damage. What? 
Yeah. Ridiculous. Give me a freaking thing that I can, I can, <laughs> if I can hide, I can hit, okay? I was going to say, that's like normal for some, for this level sync attack. Damn, is this I what know. I was expecting? I got two sixes and two threes, and then a nine on my D12. But so then uh, I will, uh, as a bonus action, I will Misty Step out of the webs. Ooh, okay. And then I'll dash back with my bonus, or my wasted action back into the thing. Yo, you did it. Beat a wizard! <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get back into the thing, and we'll just hang out there again. Hilarious. Shifter! Uh, Shifter... Oh, wait. Before that, he oh. will move... Um... Will he? he... Yeah, he will. So this you is... can... What, what do I take, damage-wise? Okay. This, and slashing. you can roll Lagwin, too. Yeah. Slashing damage. Ooh, nine. Okay. Uh, 12 thunder damage as well. Okay. He will move 30 feet forward. Shifter, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to uh, share something with the chat uh, with your permission, Jordan. I was, so, some viewers are new to the stream, which is, wow, what an episode to start on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, people were asking about what we're fighting, and it is kind of a weird thing to describe. So I Googled what Miska looks like, and I found out someone recently did variant art of him that's really, really cool. Um, so I was wondering if I could post the link to that in chat. Yeah, is it the, um, the like, purple with the skull open yeah yeah well i want to see it you should post it yeah it's you can a post very it. big link um <laughs> but it's in chat um, uh, that's terrifying it's so cool whoa yeah um yeah arcane forge i think is who did that anyway uh, uh jordan uh no no booming blade damage because it hit the duplicate oh thank you so he still has one duplicate left. And how much damage was that? Do you remember? Twelve. Twelve. Thank you. Why doesn't this um, one yeah. have Yeah. So I put in chat. That's the. Um... <laughs> I know that's the one downfall of that that arc. <laughs> no abs. <laughs> the one um, that I put in is from the book. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> with uh, the Queen of Chaos behind him. Whatever. I didn't really picture cool. her as a tentacle thing. Yeah, mm. she's this weird tentacle. There's lots of weird. Yeah. Uh, um, anyway, I'm just going to throw a Ray of Frost at him. Um, okay, do it. I like it. Uh, I got a 23 to hit. That hits. Okay. Going to deal some small potato damage. Uh, <laughs> eight damage reduced to four. All right, reduced to four. Wow. Do you stay on the plane? Oh, let's find out. I don't. Shifter okay. vanishes to the realm ethereal. Uh, now four rounds have gone by with All right. my goal. Uh, Rikiri. Um, so you said he came forward 30 feet, right? Yes, he did. Okay, so of course he's in my range now. Um, so I'm going to fly towards him um, with my new spectral wings. Um, okay. I'm going to sw swoop down to him and I'm going to bonk him with the rock. All right, do it up. I get two attacks on this now because my other will be form. Um, so I've got a non-natural 20, which doesn't hit. Yep, 20 does not hit. Yeah. And a uh, 29. 29 does hit. Yeah. Um, so you have to, is there still a double or did both the doubles disappear? Oh, I should roll. There is we have one, one, we have one more. I keep forgetting, I've never used this. Um, we have one more, and uh, I just closed the wrong window. It's so a 11. Really you want to get a uh, an 11 tea. or higher? I'll chip so, tea. Uh, yeah, but it was the one that had all the initiatives, so I lost the initiatives, which is oh, that's important. Um, so, but I think it might still be in our chat. It is. We're curious. 14. Okay, 12. Um, yes, so I rolled a 13, so that is uh, a miss. You hit the duplicate and it disappears, poof. So now it's just okay. him. Now it's just so, him, correct. Now it's just him, cool. Um, but those were my two attacks, so I don't think I really get to do anything else. Um, yeah, I'll probably just try to, like try to swoop back up and get back out of range a little bit. Um, you're gonna swoop up. 
You have like t 10 feet of movement? Uh, so I was 30 to get there. Yeah. And, then, and you have 40 flight, right? Yeah, I have 40. Okay, yeah. So if you, but if you, if you go back, he'll take an opportunity attack. Are you okay with that? No, I don't want that. No. Okay, <laughs> then you stay right there. Uh, cool. Uh, at the end of your turn, he's going to use a legendary action um, to uh, mace you with his mace. Um, and oh boy, that is a thirty to hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a natural 20. Yeah, I don't, don't um, think I can do anything against that. Yeah, natural 20. So you take uh, 23 damage, bludgeoning damage. Okay. Thank you. Um, now it is his turn, and he uh, is like, what the heck? And he's going to attack you twice. Wisdom uh, saving one is throw? An... Huh? Wisdom, oh, saving, wisdom throw. saving throw, please. <sighs> Sorry. Don't forget uh, all the different status effects we have. Going. Yes. <laughs> yes, you gotta it's help like me. Uh, Twenty-two. Yeah, that, that succeeds. All right, so nineteen to hit you. Uh, yeah. uh You will take no damage, but he will grab with one hand the rod, and then he will do a second attack, uh, and that's a twenty-nine. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he will uh, grab with the other hand the rod um oh. and you feel the intense chaos like you feel the rod just like vibrating um yeah. as uh as he's holding it he like reaches down and black ichor comes seeping out of the rod and like flies into his face and kind of gets absorbed into his eyes and mouth mm -hmm. um he's basically taking back the essence that was locked in the rod um <laughs> and as he does that he gets a hundred temporary hit points. Mm -hmm. That sounds bad. That's right. rude. You didn't have to tell us how many <laughs> hit points. You could have just said a lot of. Hit you could have just. <laughs> and he'll let go of the rod and just like collapse down, and it's just—I mean—energized. Like he looks like a, a new demon. Like he looks really happy. Um, up next is Siren. Siren's wondering why she ended up here. Like what choices did she make in life to become <laughs> here? Uh, uh, what is the uh, what are your rules on drinking a potion? Is it a bonus action or an action? Bonus action if you are uh, drinking it yourself. Action okay. if you are administrating administering it to somebody else. Siren whips out a potion from her uh, bag, downs mm -hmm. it takes okay. aim with her sniper crossbow and is going to use the potion of auto critting. Oh, oh nice. So good. <laughs> uh, can I do a cold shot with that? Um, thematically, it doesn't have to thematically. Be yeah, I don't. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you wanted to break off a leg, so he's slower, that's another. No, 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 no. Thing, I'm thinking but... more like, uh, well, and, he's, and him. he's engaged with Rikiri. So yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm rolling 3d10. I don't have much space on my desk, so everything rolls off. Uh, that's uh, 21, wait, no. 23 plus, uh, ooh, that's 20 and <laughs> way less. Uh, seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven total? It is a sneak attack. On top of the it, whatever you said. What was the first one I said? I don't know. You, you said twenty-three, and then I thought you and were then adding 27. stuff. And then, no. Okay, so. Twenty-three and twenty-seven sneak attack. So, so 50 total? No. Yeah. 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 Okay. Crit potion. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Half nice. is temporary hit points. <laughs> Anything else, Siren? Uh, well, uh, no, Siren's going to, uh, like, look at her friends and just be like, can we please just end this quickly? I'm... Rikiri, get the fuck out of there! Don't let her touch that thing again! <laughs> I just wanted to contribute. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Jordan, the DM, forgot 
that uh, as Miska pulled all of that essence act and he gained uh, all of the hit points, um, the dome of law that was surrounding this entire place shatters and collapses. And you guys know this because the full winds of pandemonium come rushing into this area. And I need all of you to make wisdom saving throws. All right. Uh, 16. This is not a charm. We've established that. This is not a charm. <laughs> that is uh, a 17 for me. Uh, I think a 17 is good. I'm trying to remember where I put. Uh... If that's good, then an 18 works. Thank God. <laughs> had a okay, lot yeah, of things happen good. to me. In 17, 18, you're okay. Wisdom saving throws, the other two. Uh, we have two <laughs> charges, right? Or I have yeah, two charges. Yeah, I have maybe. charges, yeah. You uh, I have, to... let me pull it up. Oh, well, hang on. Um, I'm going to use one of those charges to. Okay. Free roll. Okay, that's way better. That's a 20. <laughs> All right, you're good. So you have yeah. three, actually, um, Alex. Or Kiri also has three. Ooh, I'm going to well, I... I'm, I'm gonna use one and reroll that. Ah, jeez. Okay, 13. Um, a 13 is a failure. Actually, sorry, 15. Oh, 15, you're good. Okay. All right. Wait, I can just lie and then no, no one would know. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, at math. Awesome possum. Okay. Um after Siren's turn, he will use uh his legendary action um to move up to his speed without provoking opportunity attacks back into the webbing. Mm. Uh and now it is Lagwin's turn. And he is just like cackling, like so excited now. Like, lots yeah, of, lots of yeah, that's nice for him. I'm glad <laughs> he's enjoying himself. Um, okay, so he's back. Is he where he was originally within the web? Yeah, in the center of the thing. So it's another 15 feet of uh, stuff in yeah. there. Yeah. So okay, so I it would be basically the like the last time I was in there would be the same deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I will do the thing. Uh, where I run into the webs, and then I got to make a dexterity saving throw, right? When I touch the webs. Correct. Okay. At advantage, which turns out to be a nineteen. Nineteen is a success. <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Uh, I'm gonna booming blade. No, there's no duplicates. No duplicates. All right, booming All right. blade. Okay. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven hits. Come back here, dice. That is. 13 points of radiant damage okay. and 8 points of thunder damage. Okay. Standard attack is only a 19, though, which misses. 19 does miss, but I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, right for hitting him. Mm -hmm. Which is a 19. Uh, 19 is a success. Then I will... Misty step back out of it again, and then I will okay. dash back into the or the bubble. All right, shifter. Uh, I will cast a a good old fashioned magic missile. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a lot of damage output if I'm concentrating on something. So that's true. Uh, yeah, magic missile. No damage reduction there. Okay, that's a uh, twelve force damage. Okay. No. Uh, uh, anything and else? And then, at the end of my turn, I stick around. And Shift was like, ah, oh, this this was the worst time to stay. Now it's so loud in here again. <laughs> yes, it's quite loud. But at least it's safe for the time being. <laughs> round uh, five out of seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, you've got two more rounds of this? Yep. Okay, Rikiri. How um how far away did he move back into his webbing? He moved thirty feet away from you. Okay. But he's um, in the center of a big web cube. So if you yeah. fly into that, you're gonna have to make a dexterity check. No, I'm I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Thank you though. Um, okay. I I am I'm gonna break the concentration on this otherworldly form spell because it's honestly not doing anything for me. Um, I'm going to cast. Um, can I see him in there? Yeah, he's okay. lightly obscured, but yeah, you can see him. Okay, I'm gonna cast Mind Spike on him then. Um, okay. So, so he needs to make a wood save. 
Wisdom saving throw. You guys found his one weakness. Mm -hmm. Um, ooh, 21. Yeah. Um, I think he's still gonna take half damage. Yeah. Um, so he's going to take 17 psychic damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Not bad. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm going to bonus action healing light myself. Okay. And that is it. All right. Okay. Um, it is his turn. Wisdom save, please. Uh, he will do a wisdom save. <laughs> uh, that is a 16, but he will use one of his legendary uh, uh, resistances. Uh, re resistances, yeah. Um, to negate that, which I should have done from the very beginning of that, but there you go. Um, Jordan, I don't know if you're still keeping track. The owl is still there. So like, yes. as he's moving back and forth, if he's near the owl, if you can. Okay, use... I had him going like, in a vertical line, not like around the circle, but uh, yeah. yes. Thank you for the Yeah, ride. just, yeah, I, I don't know like where he is in proximity to it. So I'll mm -hmm. leave that to you. Um, And you know, it worked before. So, well, who's there? Well, Rikiri's there. He'll he'll run up to Rikiri. Okay, now he is Booming Blade though. Booming so. Blade, okay. <laughs> so he <laughs> will take- just Ooh. like waiting for me. <laughs> I love it. Uh, 21 points of thunder damage. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Wow. All he has to do is not move, Jordan. It's not that hard. I know, but like <laughs> he's got that's his whole thing as he moves around. Um, and we're gonna scimitar uh Rikiri. Uh first one is a 20. Yeah. For 24 damage, nine of which <laughs> is necrotic. Okay. Uh second one is a 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For 19 damage, six of which is necrotic. How's we here doing? <laughs> Bad. Yeah, I can imagine. Turn into a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, probably, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to do that next turn because I'll die otherwise. Um. Yeah, that's his turn. Siren. Okay. Um. Siren's going to use her bonus action. Is my friend uh, close? Do I have a friend close? Uh, yeah. yeah uh, Rikiri's, Rikiri's real right close. There. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to drink my second potion. Oh, snap. And last potion, uh, I will say. Uh, and use my sniper crossbow to try and uh, take this mofo down and keep him away from Rikiri. Oh, boy. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Um, so that's uh, so twenty nine plus I should just do this on D and D Beyond so I don't have to do math. Um, so my biggest complaint is D and D Beyond does not have a button for rolling sneak attack. Yeah, that's, right. Like you think that that would be a standard thing. Um. So plus 29 plus nine. Nope, that's wrong. 29 <laughs> was the first damage and then the sneak no. attack. No. No? Okay, the I don't The first know. damage was, oh shit. Uh, you said 29. 29 was the one I just said. Well, that was also the one you first said too. So 29 plus 29. There we go. I wrote plus, it down because I was trying to keep track. Uh, plus, uh, twelve plus, uh, fifteen. There's so many numbers. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah you gotta, <laughs> you gotta simplify I, I it for have, us. We I only have forty six, so I'm, I'm rolling my d six twice. I've got twenty nine plus twenty nine. Plus fifteen. Plus fifteen. Hold on, I can do this. Is there more? How much nope. are you rolling? No, 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 that's it. 73 damage total. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's it. Just 73 <laughs> damage. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm Redonculous. not sorry. This is the most I've done this whole game. Okay. 
<laughs> when I get to do my sneak attack damage, I can actually fucking do something. That's true. I'm, and then she's going to be like, oh shit, and like reload. <laughs> um, legendary action. Uh, he'll attack uh, Rikiri with a mace for um, a natural 20. Oh, god damn it. I'm dead. I'm dead. You're going to go All down. Right. 16 <laughs> plus 7. So, yeah, you take uh, 23 damage. Yeah. Uh, but you're down for the count. Sure. Uh, he will. Now it is Lagwin's turn. That was a, a legendary action. Sorry. I also uh, like fall out of the sky, I guess, because I was take flying. Take the rod. So does she take? Wait, does she make a? Does she automatically fail one death save because she hits the ground? No, I won't do that. Okay. Yet, so. Okay. I'm not that mean. The webs <laughs> cushioned her fall. Oh, there's no webs here. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, we're <laughs> out in the open now, right? We're. I mean, uh, I wasn't super high up. I was probably only like ten feet up. Yeah. All right, so you fall to the ground. He's up in the sky. Oh, God. All right. Um, so I will... Uh, oh, he, was, he wasn't he was up in the sky. He was just tall, right? So, <laughs> yeah, he can't fly up. Okay, Sorry, I just want yeah, to make sure. Just tall. All right, that's that's important. Important distinctions here. Um, all right, so I will, I guess, run up to Rikiri, who's on the ground, uh and uh i will uh i guess <laughs> try and drag her back to the uh to the bubble but so what i here's how i'm gonna what i'll do is i will uh yeah i'll grab her from in front of miska uh okay. i will use my my boat my hasted action to disengage Okay. And I will. Uh, do I think, and I, I don't know mechanically how this would work, I could get back to the bubble with her with just my movement? You, you would go half speed if you're dragging someone. Yeah, right? it's, okay. it's half that. speed if you're dragging somebody. Or, yeah. Okay. So, how far out from the bubble was she? Let's start there. I think he's 30 feet out. Only 30 feet out. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. so. Rakiri flew 30 feet and then he came back to meet her. So. Okay, so 30 feet to get her, then 30 feet So you feet would to... need a total of 90 feet of movement. 90 feet of movement. Okay, to get her back into the bubble. Yeah. Got it. Uh, all right, so what I will do then is I will run up to her. Actually, so yeah, here's what I'll do. I'll run up to her. I will drag her back to... Uh, I'll start dragging her back. Um... Actually, you know what? No, I'll just use my action to dash, and I will bring her back into the bubble. And my bonus action to dis or my hasted action to disengage. And I have okay. eighty feet of movement normally. So. Okay. That's what I will do. Action. And hasted action. And that'll be my whole thing. I think. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that. So now Rikiri is in the bubble um mr shifter oh what am i gonna cast this time um let's it'll sticks let's upcast a lightning bolt no i shouldn't do that i'm gonna um i'm just gonna cast magic missile again yeah okay <laughs> uh, can't go wrong with that yeah just reliable damage. Yeah. And once the globe is down, Shadow Blade is coming out. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, actually, no, wait. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cast a mirror image on myself. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Because <laughs> that is not concentration either. Uh, because and, uh, and as I'm doing that, as as Shifter fans out into multiple Shifters, they all turn <laughs> to Lagwin and. Um, uh, and Siren and say, uh, our magic barrier will be coming down quite soon, just so you're aware. <laughs> uh, and then I disappear into the ethereal plane. <laughs> uh, Lagwin, I assume you also took the rod. With oh, yeah, I, with Rikiri. I assume she still had it when she fell. So I was Yeah, I, I suppose. So I just wanted to make yes, sure. Yes, no, no, I'll take her and leave the rod with Miska. It's okay. fine. <laughs> okay. Fuck uh, this whole thing. I'll just bring yeah, her back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rakiri, make a death saving yeah. throw. I use my charges to re-roll these. <laughs> I 
don't think so. That's your call. Can you use insp I don't think you use inspiration on a. I mean, it says any d20 roll, right? Yeah, technically, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll let you do it's it. It's your show, Jordan. Do what you want. I know, but like, uh, whatever. Good, because that one was a show. failure. So that one was a failure, so I'm re rolling that. Okay. Yeah, it's also a failure. <laughs> All right, one failure. Uh, at the end of your turn, What's Miska will use a legendary me? action to rush up to the barrier. Um, and now he is right there, very upset mm. at all of you. Sorry, mm. is it his turn? It is, yeah. Roll a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, does he move through the owl? No, uh, because he, because of the curse. No, I meant the owl, though. Does he move oh, through the, no. the guardian yeah. of fate? He was on the other side of that. Yeah, I think we assumed he went okay. to the other side to avoid yeah. that. Um, he rolled a 16, so he will use his last legendary resistance to do something. Oof. Um, and he's going to... Uh, so, Rikiri's down, and uh, Shifter is on the ethereal plane. Correct. Shifter. Okay, so he will uh, scimitar mm -hmm. um, Lagwin. Sure. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. Through the bubble. Correct. So that's a 16. That will miss. Okay, he will scimitar you again for a 14. That will also miss. He will, and then one of the wolf heads will bite Siren. Can it? Uh, oh, she in the bubble? I'm Siren in the is bubble. in the bubble. And it yeah. can't get through the bubble. Can't enter the bubble. But I can do attacks, right? Yeah, but you can't enter the bubble. <sighs> so it okay. depends it on uh, it depends on your role, I yeah. guess, or whether she's within five feet of the edge. I guess that's that's. I haven't taken any damage. Yeah, that's true. It's it's uh, it's completely it's conjecture at this point. We don't have a. It says attack rolls are a disadvantage, but you can't enter this enter the yeah circle. So I guess it could go either way. Okay, I'll let's have some attacks. Attacks. Do it. Fun. Do it. Uh, at disadvantage. Yeah, they're the super fun. I love <laughs> <Yeah>. these. <now. laughs> at, at disadvantage, there. That's an eighteen. Oh, I'm sorry for you, me. Siren? Yes, it's, yes, that definitely hits me. My, okay, great. I'm not very. I'm not very hard to hit. Uh, I need you to make a uh, Constitution saving throw. Is it against poison? It is. Okay. Hey. Resistance against. I have. Uh, yeah. Stra resistance against poison. A, a straight roll because you also have disadvantage from poisons from the book. Oh, do I? Yeah. Okay. That Fair. Was... <laughs> all right. So this is a Constitution. Uh, nineteen. Uh, all right. You're fine. Um, so you take uh fourteen piercing damage from these bitey teeth. Okay. And then I need to roll a d20 and get above what for uh, my con concentration? Half the damage taken. So seven, a roll about Half seven. the damage or 10, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, half the damage or 10, whichever's higher. Okay, uh, and this is a what? Um, constitution. constitution saving throw. Constitution yeah. saving throw. It's a three. <laughs> No, All right. No. The four. No. Should I? Should I? Should I use a charge? You have. I use a charge. You have two. I'm gonna use a charge because. Okay. This might be useful after this. Ooh, that's a dirty twenty. Well, a dirty twenty-one. Yay. So a twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, so a 21. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot I had a plus one. Um. Awesome. Uh, you maintain concentration. He will uh, bite you one last time. Okay. <laughs> um, for a 14. Oh, that doesn't hit me. All right. <laughs> oh, squishy girl. All right. Now he's right there. Uh, Siren, it is your turn. Um, mm, do I have to disengage? To do, well... If you want to leave the circle, I'm going to say you have to disengage. You don't have to. You can take an opportunity okay. to attack. Right, um, but I have uh, using a crossbow. I can't. Um... Crossbow expert, you're good. Oh, true. Shoo, 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 shoo. Also, his attacks. He has a reach of 15 feet right. with one attack oh, and 10 shit. feet with the other. So I assume you guys are kind of like huddled in the middle of this thing. Okay, um, but he's still like great, great breaking through and attacking you. So, so would that mean Lagwin was if, is within melee with it? Um. 
not necessarily, but uh, okay. it could be if that's where Lagwin wants to be. I think Lagwin is like next to Rikiri, but I could be wrong. Yeah, in the bubble, yeah. Right, okay. Um, I am going to see if I have any potions because gosh darn it, do we need to get this girl up? Yeah, I'm I'm fresh out, so yeah. Um I ain't got nothing. I might have some on me. I, I do have a potion of healing. I have Ask eight... your boy on the ethereal plane. Oh wait. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I thought I had four. No, I just have one. So uh, I'm going I, to. I have two on my person. Okay. Uh, do you have anything bigger than a normal potion of healing? No. Okay. So uh, I'm going to uh, pop a bottle and uh, give Rikiri a normal potion of healing, which is 2d4 plus 2 as my action. Ooh, that's 7 plus 2. So 9. Healing back to you, my dear. Uh, Thank you. And then I'm going to use my bonus action uh, to uh, uh, be pretty again. No, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to, uh, as my dear friend Ted pointed out, uh, steady my aim. So I'm going to aim at this gent, Ooh. and uh, my next attack roll has advantage, Very which nice. will be the next round. But I can't. Um, awesome. Top of the round. Uh, you guys start. You're very focused on Miska, but uh, those of you in this circle, uh, it's kind of illuminated by uh, the sun blade and what have you. You start looking around out of the corner of your eye. There are about like 30 other little wolf spider demons that are Great. crawling around on the outskirts of this area. They aren't engaging, but they're out there. Great. Um, and we will take a short 10-minute uh, break oh, while everyone uh, refreshes their drinks, yeah, and then yeah. we will continue this epic fight. Oh, my God. All right, folks. Uh, we uh, will be right back. Uh, welcome back. We are in round seven of this epic fight against Miska, the wolf spider. We're going to start the top of the round with Lagwin. Uh, Miska is right up against the edge of this... Uh, uh, <laughs> magic circle globe of invulnerability <laughs> wonderful um, just where i want them what a combo uh, what would you like to do <laughs> all right so uh gonna try a little something different since he's right here uh for my my first uh my attack or my first part of my extra attack casting a cantrip i'm gonna i'm gonna use mind sliver and i would like him to make an intelligence saving throw please all right dc is 15 uh 23 so that's fine. He succeeds on that. Uh, and then I will attack him uh, with my second attack, which is uh, a 17, which will miss. Yep. So then I will hasted action attack him for a 25, though. That hits. So then I will deal to him 16 points of radiant damage. All right. Make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that is a 20. Dirty a 20? 20. 20? Dirty 20, yeah. Dirty 20, you're good. Um, you're gonna stay there, I assume? Yeah, in the bubble here. In the bubble. Shifter. Oh, golly. Looks like Globe of Invulnerability is going away. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> I'll, I was going to cast something else concentration, but I think I'll let it ride out the rest of the round so people still have it because he hasn't taken his turn yet. Um, and I'm just going to cast... Um, I, I'm just going to cast a cantrip. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost. <laughs> <laughs> next round, I'm like, next round, I appear Look in the plane and I, I'm like, listen, next round, things are going to get serious. <laughs> Um, and then I pew and get an 11 to hit. <laughs> Don't hit anything. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. There you go. And then, and then I disappear onto the hero plate. And like next round, then I disappear. <laughs> All right, Rikiri. Okay, Rikiri like <gasps> wakes up after being fed the potion. She kind of like shakes off her feathers. She's like, this form is clearly not strong enough for the task at hand. Um, and she kind of does that thing where, like, you know, she smooths over her face and a new face appears. Um, she's going to cast Shape Change into a blue dragon. <laughs> oh, snap change. Oh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> um, question. When you Shape Change, do all of your items move inside of you? 
that's a bad way to phrase that. <laughs> Does the rod you know, move I, inside you when we, you shape change? We talked yeah, about no, this so, already. It yeah, so they actually cannot. talk about that. Yeah, so like worn equipment can function as normal. So um, I think I could either like hold the rod as a dragon or like if I'm wearing a leather belt, the belt would probably still like encircle me with the rod. Uh, um, yes, we're all picturing a large dragon with a leather belt. Um, and got my rod of seven parts. He's always wanted pockets. But a dragon has... wear pants like this? <laughs> 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 um, well, my cat's meowing. Uh, yes, you you could have, if you have the rod out, um, it means that you can still use its abilities. But I think if you allow it to become part of the shape change, I don't think you can use its abilities. That's how I'm going to rule it. Um, well, luckily, I can't use its abilities anyway, because shape change is concentration. So. OK. So if I let it become part of myself, then he can't grab it from me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> That's smart. I like it. Can't grab what you can't uh, see. As a giant dragon, I'm going to say she pushes you all out of the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Because she's in the center. Um, so you guys get pushed out. Uh, it is now uh, Miska's turn. And I like roar. and I'm. Because yeah. how big are you? You're you're like a... a pretty big. Um, an adult yeah. dragon is huge. Yeah. Yeah. And huge is how big? Like, is that a 10 foot cube? 15 foot? I think it's uh, 20. 20. Okay, yeah. So no, no. Huge is 15. You want a 15 a, foot cube? You want to move and, out and... of the circle before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I well, can do that. Like, yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say. We but already I mean, did I, it, okay? It, it didn't occur to me, so. I'm on the ethereal plane anyway. I don't care. Yeah, yeah you're, fair. you're, you're <laughs> just happy as can be. Um. Yeah, Miska's turn. Uh, Boy, he will go after that uh that lag win twice yeah of course he will um he's got disadvantage so the first one's at oh, 18. Is it wisdom saving throw oh wisdom saving throw thank you thank you well, thank uh, you 19 for the wisdom saving throw ah, fucker. all right <laughs> all right so we'll go with an 18 to hit you which misses oh, it misses uh a 19 which misses uh -huh. um we're gonna have a bite for the dragon uh, oh, does a 23 man. hit or a 16 disadvantage? Um, no. No? No. And a 14 will also miss. Yeah. So he had a great, uh, I mean, we could have just not done the wisdom saving. Felix, <laughs> <Hey, like, laughs> what is what? going on? Go get your boy. Go get your boy. Give him kisses. I don't, know what he's doing. I don't even see him. He's just like <laughs> hiding somewhere and meowing at me. <laughs> Father. Uh, Father. Father, I'm lost. You, you've <laughs> lived here for six months. I don't know where I am. He got into the catnip. Um, siren. It's your my turn. turn. Um, oh, sorry. Um, real, sorry. At the end yeah. of his turn, I want to um, take a legendary oh, you have action. Action. Yeah. Okay, do it. Um, <laughs> let's see. How does this work? Um, I'm going to make a tail attack against him. Okay. Um, God, it sucks. It's a 16. 16 will miss. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, Siren. I am Siren. Um, I'm rolling at advantage because of my last bonus action that I used. Does a 10 hit? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, it's going great. I will use my action surge because you know what? Hey, all right. Why not? I haven't Them done Them fighter yet. levels. Uh-huh. And since the dragon is in, is it, is in with an, oh my God, fucking. I'm There's a dragon. Right. Dead. Yep. <laughs> dragon is adjacent to everyone. Yeah, uh, does a, what is fucking 21 hit. Uh, 21 does hit. All right. So I do get sneak attack because she's right there. I am also going to use an arcane shot, my last arcane shot. Um, and uh, our, uh, my question for you, Mr. DM, is um, these creatures that are around, um, I have a piercing arrow, which will make a line attack. 
um, to like hit things around it. Is that beneficial right now? Are they threatening us? They're not threatening you. They seem to be watching. They're just like cool, cool, cool. on the outskirts. They haven't approached. Right. Um, and because you guys know that the rod of law has an aura, it mm. might be because of that. Um, like these things might not be able to physically approach you because of the, the rod of law, but you're not, that's a possibility. Or they could just be watching. Okay. But they have not been uh, aggressive other than they just kind of look menacing. Right. So that's going to be 22 damage, including okay, sneak attack. Yeah. He's real not and looking he, good. Does he has resistance to uh, poison damage or he can't take poison damage? He was immune, yeah. Okay, so then I'm not going to roll the poison damage, but he his speed is reduced by 10 feet and takes 2d6 slashing damage the first time he moves more than one foot without teleporting. Okay. And Siren is going to back up since this thing is going down anyway. She's going to go hide behind the owl, use her bonus action to hide. Okay. Um, he will use a legendary action to uh, mace Lagwin. Uh, that's a 22 for my stealth, by the way. Okay. Uh, does a 29 hit you, Lagwin? 29. This is not a disadvantage, right? I don't think so. I think you're out of the. I'm out the of the circle. circle. Right? Then, uh, yes, a twenty nine does hit me. Okay, you take twelve bludgeoning damage. I will take twelve bludgeoning damage. I'm also gonna use a legendary action. I'm gonna tail attack him again. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> um, that one's a twenty seven. How does it feel, Jordan? How does it feel? Uh, 20, <laughs> yes, that hits. Okay. Great. Nice. <laughs> Um, that's the that's one of, one of the numbers that hits me twenty nine. Uh, it's twenty damage. Yeah. Twenty damage. Um, from a dragon. Um, that is bludgeoning non magical. Bludgeoning, bludgeoning yeah. non magical. So, yeah. uh, yes, he is uh, immune to bludgeoning <laughs> from non magical <laughs> weapons, <laughs> non magical attacks. Uh. It's a higher up creature. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, top of the round, Lagwin. He looks real hurt. All right, and the vol the globe is gone. The globe is gone. You are the globe. chosen one, Lagwin. I am the chosen one. Yes. Do it. Uh, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, unlimited power. Uh, I didn't prep lightning bolt today. I thought yeah, about it. That he's resistant. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, all right. Grass. That's all you do. I know. Just, ah, but uh, <laughs> if you could do shocking grasp at range, it would be that would be the that would be the one. Well, it's it's witch bolt, really. Yeah, it's witch bolt, <laughs> just to keep the lightning going. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna do the thing that I do, which is I'm gonna start with booming blade because that's worked out pretty well so far. So here we go. First attack roll. That is an eight, so that's a nineteen, so that's gonna miss. Yes. Second attack. That is an 18, so a 29. Yes, that will hit. Okay. For 14 points of radiant damage. Okay. And then a hasted action, which is an 11, so a plus 11 is 22. That will hit. For 17 points of radiant damage. All right, make a couple of dexterity yeah. saving throws. Yep. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. That was a 22, mm -hmm. and that's a 19, so that's a 25. Okay. Um, he is down. What? Uh, with with your your attacks and what have you, uh, he his whole body like he's got he's just spewing acid like all <laughs> over the place at this yeah. point. <laughs> like it's just disgusting. Um, but he collapses down. Uh, and all of the spiders on the outside, the wolf spiders, they kind of like shudder and they like come in a little bit and then they kind of go back forth. They're kind of trying to, it looks like they want to get closer, but they're not exactly sure um, what the state of things are. Mm. And uh, Miska collapses, but he's still breathing. And you see across his body that like certain parts of him are healing up and you hear him just like maniacally laughing, like, can't kill me. You're just a foolish mortal. Hit him with the rod. <laughs> I can't. It's in me. 
Oh, yeah. gross. <laughs> Shifter, what do you want to do? Uh, Shifter reappears and says, what? He's not even... Come on. Uh, I mean, I don't know what wind. more you want. You were standing the chosen over, one. Standing over top of him, lightsaber out, him <laughs> on the ground bleeding. I mean, I can really only do so much. I just... Uh, does anyone have any ideas? I'll just keep stabbing him if this is the plan until we come up with a better one. We have to stab him with a rod, right? Yes, but I don't have it, and it's inside a dragon. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to attack Miska because I wouldn't do anything. I might take, like, a pot shot at one of the wolf spiders to try and, like, scare them off or something. Okay. Uh, like, stay back. We'll be killing your bosses just in just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll hit. That's like a 24. Okay. Um, so yeah, Ray Frost dealing 16 damage. All right. Uh, yeah, you hear that like, and like, uh, but if anything, it just makes them more angry in a way. Like they're, but they're still not approaching. Like you guys are formidable. So, uh, Rikiri, you're a large dragon. Um, if he becomes frightened of me in dragon form, would it carry over to me in my regular form? You don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, oh my god. <laughs> I cannot do anything. Um, You're going to have to stab him with a rod. Like, I think yeah, that's where so, we're going here. I know, so I'm going to have to get out of dragon form. All right, well, I'm going to use my Frightful Presence action, so he needs to make a Wisdom save. Uh, okay. 22. Yeah, okay, nothing happens. <laughs> but he is also immune to Frightened, so. Oh, okay. okay. I um, feel like I'm ruining your fun, Bretta. I'm really uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, like, literally cannot do anything. Um, do I have any bonus actions? You can, you're concentrating on that spell. If you wanted to drop it, you could. Yeah. And but attack with the an, rod. It's, an, it's not an action to break concentration. No, I you know. just drop Let it. Let it go. You're done. So okay. if you want to yeah, go, I'll, I mean, I'll he's just... immune to that. So if you want to just get your action back, that's No, fine. I mean, like, I, I, I did it, so it's, it's okay. okay. But I, I will drop concentration and uh, revert back. Okay. Inside the... Um, I actually, yeah. so the dragon has a flying speed of 80 feet. I'm going to get like 60 feet away from him. And okay, yeah. It. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, it is Miska's turn. He moves at half speed um, and seems to be crawling towards Rakiri. He gets about 15 feet. Can I re reaction? I'm going to do it anyway. Opportunity attack him. Okay. <laughs> Just because I'm going to... Is he is he pro? I don't know if he can be prone. He's a big he spider. Is prone, man. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm gonna take my advantage on that then. To make okay. it a twenty to make it a twenty-two, and I will deal twelve points of radiant damage to him as he's walking away. All right. <laughs> uh, at the end of his turn, he regenerates ten health. <sighs> Siren. How close am I to Rikiri? Uh, she flew sixty feet away, I think. <laughs> um okay um and he okay can i go up to rakiri at using my bonus action to dash go up to rakiri get the rod and make it back and then um, use my attack to attack to make it back yes you said she's uh, 60 feet away from me yeah and how far is he away from her 60 feet okay so he's Miska's like right, right next to you. Okay. So I would be Oh, able I did to... say he crawled 15 feet towards her. Sorry. Oh, well, wow. Uh so yeah, so you'd have to go 60 feet there. Um and then uh 45 feet back. Okay. So uh Shifter is going or uh, I'm Siren. Hi, I'm Siren. Siren is going to put away her sniper crossbow, take out her hand crossbow and uh pump two shots into this dude. 
Uh, okay. And say, Rakiri, you have to stab him with a rod. Get over here. <laughs> Working on it. You flew away. I have nine hit points. <laughs> you are the healer. Deal with it. I'm uh, trying. I only get one action a turn. I'm not like you. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, oh, one of them's a nat 20, so that's nice. Uh, one of them's not. So uh, the first one is going to be... Three, so nine. I'm just not going to tell you numbers until I have a final number. How about that? That works. Is that why you told me nine? Nope. Don't tell. I'm. Um, don't even. Don't even think about that. <laughs> uh, that's only twenty-seven damage. All right. He had ten hit points, so he's back down to zero. Okay. Uh, so she's kind of standing, like, not over him, but definitely, like, by him and just, like, popping him in the head. Um, yeah, that is that is my action and my bonus action. And I'm, she, her, <laughs> uh, that's it. I'm just yelling, I'm yelling at Rikiri. Uh, all right. <laughs> So are this we in guy... round 10? <laughs> no, we are in round. This is the start of round 9. Oh, 9. Okay. <laughs> so, we're getting there. We're getting very close <laughs> to round 10. Believe me. I've been tracking. Oh, God. All right. Well, here we go. And I will saunter over with way more speed than I need to the 15 feet that he crawled. Uh -huh. And I'll just be like, uh, well, uh, so I, I think we need to stab him with the rod, it seems like. Go get the rod, Lagwin. I just... I mean, I could, but uh, you before, the chosen one. before I run like up, yelling across the chamber, like I'm coming before I <laughs> run. Literally I can one handle minute. It. Let's <laughs> just let, let her heal a little bit. I'm sure she can handle it. All we need to do is keep him distracted for a moment. <laughs> Sarah's like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, so what I, what I will do, uh, is. I, I I also I'm like I don't think Rikiri's going to give me the rod. It's this she seems to be pretty attached to it, as was everyone who had a piece, and she's got all seven. So no, I'm not going to ask her to give it to me to then have me stab. She's got the thing. Let her do the thing. Um, and then I'll be like, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, how? So I can't drag Miska because he's super big. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so... <sighs> do you want to... I don't know what your telekinesis can do or whatever. Well, that's concentration. I'd have to drop haste and I'd lose the turn. Oh, yeah. That's so I'm rough. not going to do it. Man. So, uh, believe me. Things I have thought through. Uh, so... Um, I was thinking of all the different ways I could try and move him over closer. Uh, so, like, the alternative is, like, go grab her Kiri and pull her back <laughs> to, to the sky. Drag her back over to him. Um... And I just, I'm like, I just, I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, and I'm just going to be like, I, uh, I will stab him again, even mm -hmm. though he's dead. I'll just stab him again. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll use my action to take the dodge action. Okay. And just like, wait. And I'll be like, I, I can't pick him up. He's, I have an age strength and he is a monster. So I can't drag him to you. So you need to just come over here and get him, I guess. All right, Shifter. well, yeah. <laughs> uh, Shifter is going to um, prepare the spell Wall of Force, but hold it until Rakiri gets a little closer to Miska, and I'm going to put a barrier around all of us so that all of these little demon minions won't be able to get to us. But I just want to make sure we're all close enough together that I can get us all within the circular wall. Because I can make 10, 10 foot panels with it. Does it do a top? It Does won't it do a dome? top in that in that case. Um, it'll just be a, a circular wall. Okay. Uh, that keeps you inside, correct? You can't then go after Miska. Well, no, I'm... It will, once I make it, it'll be big the, because it's 10, 10 foot panels. So the theory okay. is it'll en enclose all of us. It'll just keep all the little guys out. 
e right. and Miska. Is that what you're aiming yes. for? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I needed to know. Sorry. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, you have that prepped. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah. not as a reaction. You're just telling me this. Well, I'm I'm holding that action. So as okay. soon as Rakiri is close enough, that then that spell goes off. Okay. Because I think Rik she isn't close enough right now. Yeah, yeah. So Rakiri, what would you like to do? I'm gonna use the rod. Or well, first I'm gonna bonus action, um, healing light myself. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna roll that real quick. A little bit. Um, then I'm going to use my action to cast haste on myself using the rod. Um, that will double my movement speed. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll zoom over to Miska. Um, it also gives me a second action, which I will use to attack him. Okay, before uh, that, set. your rod, your wall goes up. My wall goes up. So now all those little guys can't get at us. They can't get at you. Uh, now you're using your action to attack. He is prone, so you have advantage on this attack. Come on. It's like a plus stupid number spear. Let's okay. hope it. <laughs> yeah, it should be OK. Let me uh, look at the stats for this thing. Um, 27. That hits. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, good. I have advantage on that because I'm hasty. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy that. It's great. I love it. It's been very helpful this fight. It's a 16. All right. That is a failure. Oh, no. Amazing. <laughs> um, this is uh, this is very cinematic. Uh, you come flying in hasted. You've got the rod. You slam it into i guess misca's head his back where do you want to attack him his chest his chest that's a good idea yeah um and as you drive this in uh more poison comes spewing out um and you are hit with 76 poison damage um, that is fucking in. <laughs> um how much hit points did you have i had uh shit i just went over it um I honestly don't remember because DD Beyond has erased that for me. I think it was like 25. Okay. Um, so we're gonna say this is kind of a this is just a cinematic thing, but yeah, this acid just like eats away at you. Um, oh, I say poison, but it's yeah. Um, and Miska wails. It is just like flopping back and forth with this uh thing inside of it. Um the demons all like rush towards you and they're like fighting on the edge of the wall, but they can't get in. So uh, Lex has like kept him out and he's banging on the things trying to get out. Um, finally, uh, Miska falls back. You see um, all, he's got six eyes, all six eyes, they roll back into his head um, as he falls down on his back and that same uh, bubbly, uh, disintegration that all of the demons have done that you guys have seen happens and it bubbles bubbles down um, all this terrible smoke is coming up and just awful smelling things uh, but when it clears there doesn't seem to be a rikiri but there is a rod of seven parts hanging out that was not supposed to have the second thing was not <laughs> supposed to happen <laughs> The whole thing was that the person who stabbed him was going to be sacrificed, yes? <laughs> I'll pick up the Rod of Seven Parts off the ground. <laughs> you are now the owner of the Rod of Law. Well, I mean, the vampire in that demon dimension told me I have to take it, so I have to listen to him. So, and I'll be like, so, uh, did we did we win? And then I'll... We sent Miska back down to the abyss. Right. Uh, so. I'm really tired. Give me oh, a yes, sec. I'm sure you are. I'll just take six seconds to relax because the haste ends. Well, no, we're I was going to say, well, we've got, I've got this wall up for 10 minutes, so feel free to think of how to get our friend back in that time. Jordan, right. do I feel like my spell of bestow curse is still active? No. Once no. he fades. Okay. All right, well, I think that he's gone, at least for now. We need to get out of here. Well, we have the key, yes. Yes, we but need... we need a door. Right. 
Great. And I, I will preface this by saying that yes, I'm very upset by Rakiri's death. However, <laughs> that is not the problem at the moment. Is Correct. there anything left of Rakiri? A feather? <laughs> Something? Thematically, just... <laughs> Well, it would actually be very useful. Yeah, um, it would, yeah. <laughs> um, Jordan's reading. Uh oh. I uh, no, there is not. Uh, um, well. But I will remind you that the rod can cast true resurrection. Okay. Yes, oh, I'm aware no. of that. But do you need to be attuned to the rod to use that? Uh, I have have no, wish. not necessarily. How about definitively, <laughs> so that I know whether or not I can do it? Is my question. That's my question because I don't know. Because if it's going to uh, be like, hang on, let's take two hours real quick while we deattune, reattune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can, you can cast it. No, oh, not... um, yeah. But we are in mortal danger. Shall we fly away from this? I mean, we still need to find a door, so we can. Right. So let's just go oh. up and over. I take Vincent out. I turn him into a big fly boy. <laughs> uh, you're all right, Lagwin, right? You can fly with that thing. Apparently, yes, I can. It's very weird. So I'm Gandalfing uh, it up now with my staff and a sword. <laughs> the resurrection isn't like 60 seconds, right? It's like No, it's 200 years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have plenty of time. <laughs> so, the casting time for true resurrection is an hour, but yeah. with the staff, it's one action. Okay. Wow. Wow. Holy no shit. material components, just wow. happens. Okay. Well, yeah, let's uh let's get someplace a little yeah. safer than the middle safe. of this these demons. So, um, um as you guys I are discussing that, you do hear uh one of the demons screeches and you hear all of them run back into the shadows. Uh -oh. um, and they seem to be uh, leaving this place as fast as possible. Well, um, that's not and good. the temple itself is like shaking. Time yeah, get on Vincent. Yes. Oh, yes, then. Um, Siren's going to put on her sunglasses and look yeah. really cool. Like... I have sunglasses too, so I'm going to put mine on too. <laughs> Let's go. I don't have any sunglasses. <laughs> Siren, uh -oh. cover your eyes. No. <laughs> uh, I guess. Where yeah. are you guys going? Out. To back to a place with doors. I guess there were doors in the courtyard if you wanted to go. Oh, there, it was so. okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go over there before the doors all fall apart. Yeah. yeah. Uh okay. So we'll get there and I get I'll just use the action right now and then we'll go through the door. I don't remember yeah, we'll do that. Yeah? Yes, no. I guess. Yeah, if there's does enough of the door. Like, does it seem like we have six seconds to cast? I feel like this is something we I can wait until we're on the other side, but let's do it. We've got 200 years, Lackwood. Let's All right, fine. The other I mean, the door. Uh, it's fine. I won't tell her that you said that this... Well, it's fine. Let's go. Let's use the key, then. All oh, right. Chat reminded me that I can cast Minor Illusion and make myself sunglasses. <laughs> That's so that true. Right, so I do that. But your face is all dark. <laughs> But they're on the outside. It's just like they're big, on the outside of the big cowl. pixelated deal with it sunglasses yeah. over the hood. Um, all right, you do find a door. Uh, it's a little broken, but you kind of like prop it back up and close it. Uh, Siren, Siren has the key, I think. Yes, yeah, Siren does. And have so, the Siren, key. you uh, plug in the key, you turn it, and then when you open the door, um, you look back down, the key is gone. But on the other side of this door is a uh, fairly bright area with just a city skyscrape or city line that curves up into a big donut. Um, and it, it's a uh, sickle. We go Better through. than here. Guts go through and shut that door real quick. Close the door and then Siren just goes, we didn't just destroy a whole plate of existence, did we? That's not this one, so I don't care. Uh, <laughs> and then I will anyway. And then I will, I will cast true resurrection as soon as we get through that door because i don't know what's in sigil i've never been there okay but, but i don't know if uh, like someone's immediately gonna come around the corner and just shank me and take the rod so real quick just... you guys run down uh you fly out um the winds are blowing into sigil from this open door and so you kind of fall in and fall down on your uh on your feet turning around pushing the door shut <sighs> The door is shut. You guys seem to be in a in a street of some kind. There are various uh, uh, tieflings and humans and um, some angels and celestials and stuff kind of walking around. Um, and then in order to do this, you need to hold up the rod and you say uh, the name of the person, I believe. Uh, 
it will provide a new body if the original no longer exists, in which case you must speak the creature's name. Um, and I assume you also grabbed the stuff that, well, her stuff was all disappeared. So never right, yeah, so I guess the Book of Exalted yeah. Deeds is gone with her. Yeah, so. But yeah. Uh, and then I'd be like, boy, I really hope her name is not something else, and it truly is Rikiri. <laughs> <laughs> I'll the Don't in the worry, air. she can't lie. <laughs> That's true. Rakiri, I say, as I cast, like, uh, you know, in my best sort of anime form, holding my staff up in the air in the middle of the street. <laughs> and and I, everyone's kind of looking at you like, what? Um, the rod... Just uh, go with it. The rod of law starts vibrating. Um, and a white uh, aura kind of forms around it. And there's like little smokes uh, uh, sizzling from it. Um, it gets really hot and you're going to let go of it as it like hovers in the air for a little bit. Um, there is a bang and it's almost like uh, the dragon balls after you make a wish and they all come together and they fly out and the rod separates into seven parts and flies far, uh -oh. far, far away. Son of a bitch. Um, but in the mist uh, is Rikiri and you have all of your items, all of your stuff. You're just... Like nothing ever happened. Do I like remember anything? I think the last thing you remember is getting washed with the most amount of pain <laughs> of that you've acid felt in a long, long time. Since the last ten minutes before that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, uh, no afterlife that you uh, remember. Nothing like that. No speaking to other people. But mm -hmm. okay. You didn't even get to hang out with Kiranor for a while. Damn. <laughs> Wow. I didn't see Karen on the other side. Um, well. Yes. So I guess I, I walk out of the mist and did, did, did we win? Did, did we, what, that's what still a little fuzzy, honestly. Um, it's, it seems like, it seems like we did. I am what? not doing that again. I know that that just broke apart. I am not. That is not my job. You know what? It's not my job. Sorry, it like turn what? sits down on the ground. Uh, oh, the rod. Um, I used it to bring you back, and uh, apparently it broke into seven pieces again. And they all flew off to different places, which is really not something I'd expect it to do. I'm not but doing this it's again. It's probably Once even worse enough. that we're in Sigil, because then it could literally be anywhere. Any, any, but, but that's good. No, that's good because we wanted to hide them all, all the pieces and scatter them about. Now we don't have to because it did it for us. So really, I think it saved us a lot of time. Uh, let's go get a drink, everyone, shall we? There must be a bar drink. around here somewhere. Drink. And you so hear, Jordan, uh, you hear Jordan, a question well, well, real quick. Well, well. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Jordan, can I ask you a question? You can, go ahead. Um, so I know that like when I was in possession of the rod, it like changed my alignment and I would not let anybody else take the rod. Um, now that it's kind of been like taken from me and separated, like are its effects like gone from me or like, do I still feel like compelled toward it or? No, uh, y y it kind of controls you as you're like magically attuned to it and you are no longer that. Um, okay. So you do, your, your alignment reverts back to what it was okay. um, and all of your feelings are just kind of your own um, okay. and, and you're as you're, you're not influenced anymore by the rod. Okay. Um, but you guys do hear uh, a dog barking. Um, and looking over, uh, it is your good friend Router bounding up to Rikiri <laughs> and just starts licking Rikiri's face. <laughs> oh, Router, what are you doing here? <laughs> and uh, behind Router is Arquestra. And she's kind of walking up to you uh, and she says, Friends, it's, it's, you did it, it's over. He's, he's returned to the abyss. Wh where's the rod? That's, wait, all right. Well, That's here's the that. thing. Um, no, just a second. Uh, him going to the abyss is good, right? Like that was the good thing we, we did. Yeah. Or is he now with uh, his mistress and... Oh, I am sure he's reunited with her, but he's no longer a presence here. He can't attack. He can't leave the abyss. He can't Roger. attack other places. All right. Good to know. Go ahead. Go ahead, Matt. Um, sure. It was the strangest thing. Uh, it just broke apart into seven pieces and flew in seven different directions. Nothing we could do, really. <laughs> but when you killed Miska, the, the essence left the rod, the, 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 the rod of seven parts. It's, it's gone, right? Sure. Yes. Probably. Yes. 
I mean, and then like we have mental links still, so I'll be like, he took it back, right? Like he he took yeah, the essence I, back. I so that's what was going on. So I he mean, so he absorbed he absorbed maybe, the essence. Therefore, there but, is none. But when right? the rod killed him, did it reabsorb some? Did you check, Lagwin? Did you check? Did you check? We did didn't you talk about checking for rod. Lagwin, how could you forget you to check the absorption check level? The rod. <laughs> We're all having this conversation in our head. Our question's just They're like having a mental God, breakdown no. in the corner. <laughs> Like waving at your eyes, like are you guys are you okay? Everything is fine. Quiet. Look, I found a mouse. <laughs> Listen, all right. I am the chosen one. Anyway, yes, it's everything's fine, Aquasha. It's all done. It's we did all, the thing. Yes, let's let's. It's have hidden brunch, and, sp- and sent in seven different directions for no one to find it again. The realm is saved. Thanks to the banana uh, bunch. Thanks to the banana bunch. <laughs> uh, and our quester says, "Well." Come with me, come with me. I have, uh, there are some, some fellow body I think that would like to meet you. Um, and she leads you now? down to a, um, a, a tavern of sorts. Uh, I don't have a tavern generator. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Spirits and spirits. It's a haunted, what? It's, a, it's a haunted place. That's what we call their place in, in Waterdeep Dragon Heist. It was the spirits and spirits. Because there was, because Lyft was We're there. It was a ghost. I know, in, but it's just. We can be I in a in a fancy. That is a good name one. for that place, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what does your generator say? Yeah, um, the old chief and mace. You think they'd have a more exotic name for a place? Yeah, you think the, that they would. The center of the universe, but uh, here no, we are. No, I like this. The the Doe and Heart Club. Okay. So uh, you guys go to the Doe and Heart Club, um, and it's very empty, but inside are these, uh, there's probably, uh, well, there's six of these large, blue, eight-foot-tall um, immortal creatures known as the Vadi. Um, and Router is there, Morpheus. Uh, the other dogs that I don't remember. Their Hero Quest are and Ceramic? Hero Quest, and yeah. <laughs> Um, and you guys approach, uh, yeah. and our quest just, like introduces you. Like these are the, these are the heroes. They, they stopped Miska. Like, and she turns back and she says, "You who sat on your hands for so long." And she talks to the the Vadi, but these mere mortals took care of an issue that you would never do. And they kind of like look a little grumbled or something. And then, I'm sure they had a very good reason. No, no, no. Fuck you guys. We just had to go through a lot of shit, all right? <laughs> it's fine. No, no, no. You owe us a lot of drinks, so start up. <laughs> and our quester says uh, they owe you much more than drinks. Um, and they approach, and uh, the leader kind of comes forward, and he's just like, we recognize what you've done, and we would like to bestow a blessing on you. We will never be able to repay you in whatever currency you want, but I think this will help. And he uh, takes out a pouch of some dust and kind of sprays the, all the lot of you. Um, and you all, let me look at my notes here. They just um, poison us. No. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you and he he says to you he's like with this you are recognized as friends of uh the allies of the wind dukes which is the wind dukes of aka um that is us that we are the wind dukes um and he says <laughs> i'm dumb sorry uh, <laughs> with fine. this dust uh no creature of air nor any being of the elemental plane of air will attack you without uh being attacked first Shit. It's <laughs> gonna just punch Rikiri. <laughs> well, I can attack you back if you do that. <laughs> right. No, I know. All right. It's fine. That's awesome. Um, and he says he would like to give you another reward. Um, each of you has an option. Um, you can have a hound of law, oh, such no. as a router, as a companion to run around with you. Um, you can get an ability called Reveal Truth. Um, and Reveal Truth functions as a dispel magic, but it is effective only against illusions and other forms of magical deception. <laughs> the spell can destroy illusion magic of all kinds. It can force polymorphed or shaped creatures back into their Ooh. true forms, reveal invisible beings and so on. 
If cast directly on a creature, the target must attempt a charisma saving throw of DC 15 or be forced to speak only the complete truth for 10 minutes. Whoa. The target can refuse to speak, but uh, evasions of the truth are not possible. And I'll put that in our chat so you guys can see. Yeah, I was going to say that's a lot. Well, yeah, either Siren or I should take that. Um, this is a very tricky conversation to choose. Uh, young Hound of Law, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and we'll figure out the, the Hound of Law later if you guys want that. Um, I don't have stats. Um, I'm, taking, I'm taking the second one. He can sure. offer you uh, a very unique spell called Vortex Blade, which is kind of like Flame Blade, but you create a magical blade of air that does force damage. Mm. Um, and you can, uh, as an as an action, you can make a magical melee attack to do uh, force damage to a creature, um, 3d6, or you can refocus the blade to swirl around you and it will do uh, a push action to push everything around you um, 10 feet after a strength saving throw. Mm. Man. Um, or, and this or. is the, the tricky one. Um, <laughs> this is the tricky one? All right. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is the tricky one. <laughs> Uh, a wish. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Why are all of the things? Guess who still um, has and a I wish? I think yeah. for our audiences, or our audience tonight, we have to decide tonight. Like, yeah, I don't disagree. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, as in as in the wish spell wish is what yes. I'm assuming. Okay. Ooh. All right. So, like, obviously, everybody to some degree wants the dog because dog, obviously. But <sighs> no, I think Siren is going to take the second choice where she can compel people to tell the truth. The reveal truth ability. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, I think we'll say you get it uh, once a day, probably. Maybe. Well, okay. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. Could, it's called reveal truth. Reveal truth. Yeah. I, chat, I'm on to this. Believe me. I, <laughs> this is a crisis of decisions. You're absolutely right. Oh, God. Mm. For permanent haste. Yeah, permanent haste is definitely something that I've been thinking about in my back pocket. Because if I didn't, if I if I go that route, the other option would be Lagwin just spends all of his money and all of his time and becomes addicted to drinking two potions of speed at the same time and hoping that they just become <laughs> permanent. Oh, he becomes a Ritalin addict. Yeah, but eventually it might be great. <laughs> sure. It also might literally blow up in his face, but you know. Mm, yep. Uh, yeah, I don't, I think... I'm not very interested in Vortex Blade. Um, can do a lot with Wish. I think I'm going to take the Wish. Okay, what would you like? Oh, I have to do it right now. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> They're casting it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I'll sit there. Um, Rikiri already decided, so I'm gonna wait to see what happens to Rikiri first. Oh, well, like, okay. <laughs> I know, I know what to wish for. World peace. No. <laughs> <laughs> In the campaign and all future campaigns, and everybody's happy. No conflict. No more Twitch streams, everybody. Go home. <laughs> um, I'm going to wish for um, Kiranor's feather. From Mr. Megorian. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not um, going back on my word to him. I will still, you know, give him the information. Um, so I'm not like going back on the deal. I'm just taking the feather a little preemptively. Altering okay. the deal. Um, yeah, me. he he asks you, uh, or he says, hand out your or give him his hand, and he takes his large blue hand and puts uh, his over. Um, and he looks at you and he's like, I hope that this will serve you in the future. And he takes it away, and there's the feather. Damn. And it's just radiating magic, like super, super awesome. Yeah, no, Very divine. Bad. I can't believe you used your one wish to commit theft. <laughs> Mary, I'm so proud of you. It's not theft. It wasn't even his to begin with. Oh, uh, sure. You've learned so much from us. I'm just so proud. <laughs> Well, I don't have the rod anymore, so we have, to have some fun. Um. Oh, God. Okay, I'm thinking. 
right. Permanent permanent haste is definitely something that I'm honestly seriously considering, <laughs> but depends on. Oh yeah, because it's not one of those. It's not four separate things. It's each of us could get like the same thing if we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You could all take wish if that's what you wanted. You could all take a dog. There's four dogs. <laughs> There's four dogs. You have, you Jordan's got at least dogs. four things in his room to tell us what their names are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> pen, cell phone, <laughs> whiteboard, keyboard, and uh, I don't know, my cat book. Yeah. Dog named Cat Book. <laughs> oh my God, I know what I'm doing. This oh. is very silly. Oh boy, here we go. I take a wish. Lagwin no longer remembers what I look like. Uh, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Wait, didn't that you... is uh, that's the best awesome. use of wish. Uh, Can you just uh, yeah. say he, anyone? He looks at you and then kind of looks at uh at yeah, it looks at Lagwin <laughs> and there's like a nod and then he looks back at you and it's like it's done. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so shifter. Uh that's yeah. perfect. Um okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh man, now it's just me. All right, it's all right. It's just you, yeah. God fucking damn it. Wait, can I use a wish to that so that nobody can lie to me? Is that a thing I can do? Oh, you mean from the luck blade that you have? No. Can I instead choose oh. wish and make it so that nobody can lie to me? Uh, I guess. Or I can detect that someone can is lying to me. Yeah, we can figure that out, but probably yeah. I don't mm. know. That is, reveal truth seems like more fun than that, though. It's true. Let's go. With it the just reveal. yeah. Let's do that. You could increase a stat by two above your max. No, no, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with the reveal truth. Okay. Last one. I know. Well, the stat oh. actually increase is not the worst thing because it's just like, well, that's also also more AC in the long run. <laughs> but what about two sunblades? Two sunblades? No, dual, I, wheel. dual wheeling. wheeling. And that you could attach them together sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Is nobody gonna wish for more wishes? I don't understand. <sighs> that I, I assume we obviously ruled that out because that's the first thing most of the greedy people in this party would be like, "Hold up, hold up." <laughs> I wish for infinite wishes. Are we good? Cool. All right, then I'll give you a list. Here's my list. Um, all right. I, uh, the chat. The chat keeps throwing out permanent haste. Everybody wants that. And then the other chat said, "Wish for permanent true sight, just to fuck over shifter." Don't you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly Which, learned what I look like again. <laughs> I love that. And it's just like, that's what you look like. I forgot that I didn't know what it looked like in the first place. Yes. All right. That would be hilarious, but no. I, I'm not the vindictive person to immediately counter shifter's <laughs> wish. Um, now, now permanent haste will mm, stay on you permanently. Yes. Uh, but I will remind you, I think it can still be dispelled. Yeah, I guess that like, is true. It's going to stay with you until it's, it's dispelled, dispelled. And there's a chance it could never be dispelled, but right, it but is a magical effect on you. Gotta have those counter spells right. <laughs> yeah, all right. That is, that's a reasonable point uh, to make. All the other, the Extra other th spell slots? Yeah, that's Can what the chat. That? That that's what the chat keeps asking for too, which I wouldn't say no to, but I don't know how Jordan feels about that either. Um, I think you could get uh one extra spell slot of one your first max level, level I guess. Slot. Like of you max? have five. Yeah, I have five currently. So yeah, so if you're a level five spell slots, I'd say you get an extra level five at and so. Uh, and that's a lot. But, that is a lot. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Ooh, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Wish for an extra head. You guys are idiots. See what are you guys doing over here? Go hang out uh, with Demogorgon. Yeah, I'll go do that. That's how I'll get my extra head. All right, I'm going for the extra fifth level spell slot. That will never not be useful. Okay. Um. Wish. Yeah. Where? <laughs> wish to know where the bananas come from. I like that. <laughs> I have the, to know. <laughs> it provides one banana for everyone in the party <laughs> once a day. Potassium you for cure all. World hunger. Two bananas. Um, <laughs> yeah, wish granted. You, all right. You, uh, you have that. Um, I, I will take that. They they do say that uh, although the rod is broken and lost yet again, without Miska's blood in it, yep. um, they're. The the Queen of Chaos will not be able to locate the, the pieces. 
Yes, um, because Mis Miska's blood is certainly not in it. We checked. We're yeah, positive. We totally did. 100%. Uh, they will go through and search for it if need be, but uh, they feel pretty pretty confident that it's okay. Um, the puppies look a little sad. <laughs> they're kind of like, they're going to miss you. Uh, really cute puppies. Boy, oh if gosh. I was any other character, would I take that? But Sorry. Gotta get some scratches in. And then we're gonna we're gonna have brunch, and uh, <laughs> so she's gonna be yeah. like, they have croissants here. <laughs> Fantastic! You guys are currently in uh, Sigil, and that is where we will end our campaign. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, uh, Shifter was gonna say like, well, this is a bit of a problem because reporting back to Om without any of the rod fragments is going to get me in significant trouble. But on the upside. How will I get back to Om? <laughs> you know, we can we always just use this as a, a stepping off point, you know? Like, oh, well, it was out of our control and all that. And if you ever need a job, you know that I would love to hire you, of course, under me as part of the sense. Oh, yes. I'm sure that'll, mm, yes, that'll work out great with our history. <laughs> Fantastic. Exactly. We also need to discuss the whole marriage thing. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> oh no, I've, I've got death. The, the madness of pandemonium affects me even now. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. You guys are hilarious. Um, oh, is, well, there, is there an emote for Rikiri? Is, I was actually just something? looking one up, so. <laughs> Um, but no, I think, uh, I'm always, I'm bad at starting campaigns and I'm bad at ending them. I always feel, uh, because it's just like, how do you, how do you end something like this? But, uh, you well, guys were awesome. Well, if we're not doing sunsets, if we're not doing like, you know, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? I think this is a good place to be. Yeah. yeah just and that's brunch. true. I, but I, I, wa I didn't know if we were going to do an epilogue like that because, uh, there's a chance we might still play these characters. That's like, true. We were talking about it, so we were. Oh. Um, looking for an emoji. <laughs> Gotta find that emoji. Gotta end the campaign. And right. I found it. Um, it's a banana. <laughs> <laughs> is there a banana emoji? Apparently, there is. Because right. I went through the next emoji campaign website. is going to be finding just. Finding that uh, Kiranor is actually on the plane of bananas, right? And has been feeding you bananas all this time. Right They've been that. messages <laughs> the whole time. Um, God, but yeah, yeah. so uh, before we before we like close up, I guess any any final closing thoughts? You guys had fun, obviously. I guess so. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously, well, I mean, yeah. It seems like you guys had fun. You yeah. kept coming back to play. So we, yes. <laughs> thank you very much for running this, Jordan. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for yes, taking definitely. the time to take this from what second edition to fifth edition yeah. yep thank you yeah i thought it worked really well it was yeah. a really cool adventure Good job. i i love this uh i when i read this a long time ago i wanted to run it immediately and so um it's i don't know like i just one of those adventures that you're like i gotta get this out of my system i gotta play this game so Thanks for all the bananas in chat, guys. Yeah. 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 Thanks Banana. to everybody who's, you know, watched and followed along and everything. It's been really yes. awesome. For sure. Thank you. For sure. So many so many great audiences throughout this campaign. Great yeah. audience tonight. Yep. We Super appreciate fun. you. We do. Um, Maybe we'll pick it up at the beginning of next year. Yeah. yeah. So uh, regardless of where we go from here, um, we decided that we're going to take some time off. So maybe February, March, we will start again. Uh, I am fine running more stuff um, using these same characters. I mean, Sigil is like really cool and there's lots of loose ends to tie up. So we could definitely take these characters to level 20 if we wanted to. Um, we could also play something else. Uh, we could even play not D and D. Gasp. Uh, <laughs> You're crazy. DCC. But, uh, I have so many dice for DCC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dungeon Crawl Classic, so good. Um, I don't know if that's a little too off-brand for, for Jordan's channel, though. <laughs> like, he's not playing D&D, &D, but isn't he the D&D &D lore guy? Mm. But yeah, uh, but I want to say you guys are great. Um, I do have Christmas presents for all four of you. They're over there. Oh, I just yeah. have to get them in the mail. So really uh, expect that at some point. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, 
And then uh, just thank you guys. This has been a fun adventure. I didn't, I knew, well, I knew everybody except Brenna, um, uh -huh. more or less, but I feel like I really got to know you guys a lot more. Like you were just kind of yeah. casual friends and now you guys are like really cool and, and it's good. Uh -huh. um, and this was a great pandemic game for me because yeah. it was just a nice break totally. in the middle. So thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, again, uh, we'll go around with some closing thoughts and closing whatever we're doing. Uh, and I guess we'll start with Lex. What's going on in your life? Oh, golly. What a great campaign, mm -hmm. everyone. It was su such fun. Uh, it was really great being able to uh, make a character that had a lot of great lore connections that then Jordan could like um, play off of, which was really great. Um, and being able to develop out the personality of that character was super fun. Lots of really great party interactions, great party dynamics. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, uh, gosh, it like Siren and Shifter, great combo. That was fantastic. Uh, Shifter and Siren also getting uh, excited when Rikiri did naughty things, also mm. fantastic. And uh, Shifter and Lagwin just low key hating each other, yep. also <laughs> fantastic. Uh huh. <laughs> um, the two rival wizards in the game. Completely oh, different good. subsets of every kind of magic. Mm -hmm. oh, lots of rivalry, but there's a lot of, like, I don't know if a lot of people on the internet know the amount of shared spells that we had, like... Oh, gosh, we traded so many spells back and forth. Like, Shadow Blade and Lightning Bolt were both from Lagwin, that Shifter took those. Like, there's a lot of that back and forth that, like, behind the scenes, I have very begrudging <laughs> sessions of swapping <laughs> spell books, but... Oh yeah. So no, that was great. Really, really great. Uh, thanks so much everybody for, uh, for letting me do fun character stuff. And again, thanks to Jordan for running a great campaign. Um, as for my regular outro thing, <laughs> uh, I'm Lex. You can find me on Twitter at Dank Dungeons. I make RPG stuff, all sorts of different things. I have a, I have a link tree on there that has all my different links to different places. Uh, most recently I've made a zine slash uh, dungeon synth album so you can check that out it's called the shifting city it has nothing to do with this character uh and i have just started in on a new project that i really can't talk about yet but i can tell you it's going to be really cool and uh very different so uh oh the last thing i want to mention is a friend of mine uh, is doing a kickstarter called a packet of particular peaks <laughs> which is a series of uh it's system agnostic it's a series of uh um, campaign settings and it has maps and has a bunch of monsters magic items uh, it looks really really cool and yeah it's on kickstarter now i'll link it in chat very cool very nice. uh lb what's going on hi i'm lb hack up i had so much fun in this campaign it's so chill so I, I like I took a lot of notes, but I feel like I besides the names of the random characters, I feel like I didn't need them because it was just so streamlined and I loved it. And it was uh, out of all of the games that I play, just so relaxing to be a part of this one. I enjoyed all of the character interactions that we had. Uh, I'm glad that we had one character that was our moral compass and Brenna, thank you so much for dealing with that. Um, but uh, you can find me on uh, LB Hackmuff on the Twitters and the Twitches tomorrow. I'll be streaming on my channel with my dear friend, Lauren, who will be physically here with me, which will be nice, uh, which we haven't done in a long time. Um, one thing I do want to plug on December 19th, I will be running a game of uh, Monster of the Week. Um, our dear friend Lex is going to be in it. Um, and we are going to be running through a holiday themed adventure. I uh, think Buffy, think uh, Angel, that sort of like supernatural. Every week there's something new, uh, a new monster they have to face. Um, and uh, it'll be holiday themed, but not in the way you think, I think. So yeah, catch me there. Um, I'll keep an eye on my Twitter for all that. And thank you, Jordan, for running us through this. And I'll see you guys when we return. Yeah. Uh, Brenna. Yeah, I mean, same thing. Just like, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> it's really amazing to like get to finish a campaign because like yeah. a lot of times it kind of just like peters out or things happen. So like, I really appreciate, you know, everybody in the group, like, you know, we really didn't miss that many sessions. And like, I just appreciate everybody's like commitment to the campaign. And like, I know it's hard to make the time and everything. So I appreciate it. 
um, especially like the last few months have not been like amazing. Um, it was really fun to like get to come in and play like a very upbeat, like optimistic, kind of happy-go-lucky character and just like be in a better brain space for a few hours mm -hmm. every week was nice. Um, and I appreciate everybody tuning in and watching, and I just appreciate all of you. <laughs> um, but I'm Brenna. You can find me on Twitter at Brenna Noonan. Um, I run a company called Quill Silver Studio. We help uh, game creators, tabletop game creators, create their games. So whether that's like art or marketing or production or whatever, we can help you do that. So check us out at quillsilver.com. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, my name is Jordan, silent PH in the middle. Uh, for uh, I was your dungeon master. Yeah, if you guys are interested in this, I linked the adventure from Drive Through RPG in the chat. Um, it's ten dollar PDF, uh, and you can see how much I adapted for my own self. Uh, it, it's really fun. I anyway, that's that. Um, I'm on YouTube, youtube.com slash Jordan with PH in the middle. You probably all know this, but if you don't, I am doing a, a, a type of Vlogmas. I'm going to be making videos all through the month of December uh, where we're, I'm going to create a, a custom campaign setting uh, for fantasy RPG. I've never done this before. I've always played in established worlds where I kind of just change them however I want, but I like the fact that there's pre-made gods and pre-made cities for me, um, hence why I did the channel on like figuring out the lore of the Forgotten Realms. Uh, so this is intimidating and new, but a lot of fun. Um, and I was dumb and didn't think that other people would be interested in doing it too. So now there is a hashtag of my 30 day world. Uh, and if you wanna go to that hashtag, other people are participating in this uh, fun exercise. And you can see all of these different content creator people uh, or just creators in general building on their worlds. And it's been a lot of fun. So uh, after this, I'm gonna film tomorrow's episode and get that edited and uploaded. Uh, and so yeah, check check out uh, the YouTube channel. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun where we're we're just gonna build a world. So, um, and that's me. Last but not least, Mr. Ted hosting us on your channel. Thank you again uh, yeah, for having course. us on Nerd Immersion. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to uh, yeah, just to I don't know get to see other other uh, people that you don't usually see in your Twitch chat, you know? And so it's kind of fun to just uh, co-mingle and, and hang out with lots of other people, so thank you. Yeah, no, definitely. I'll thank, I'm glad that when conventions were a thing, we happened to be at that one meetup at yeah. Gen Con that one time. Uh, yeah. It made this whole thing fun. possible, <laughs> so. Um, man, conventions, man. That's how I met Brenna too, it's crazy. Like, I know, I was sad that there were no conventions. Uh, it's PAX Unplugged weekend, fun. this weekend. It was That's the best. Oh that. no. I know, I know. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I just was flipping through my notes, trying to see if I found anything of interest, interesting characters, interesting pieces of information. Um, I thought I'd uh, touch on a couple interesting ones that I came across here, right? So there was there was Ugg, the goblin. He was relatively recent. The cobbler uh, in Pandemonium. Yeah, he had the Ugg boots. He made, he made uh, Ugg boots there. We had, uh, obviously, we, we all know our Questra's dogs. We also had... The guards and the priests from Gond, Sugarlips, Peacock, and Grenadine. They were uh, also some of my favorites. We had, uh, let's see, back to the first episode. Uh, in Neverwinter, Bidness is how they pronounce business, and that is right. canonically how it is spoken in Neverwinter. <laughs> uh, and apparently, Luskin is also France. Uh, so <laughs> that's what I wrote in my notes here. Um, so, you know. Good, good, good also, notes. Joe Acolyte. Yeah, Joe Acolyte. We got Jacob Jar. He's kicking around in here somewhere. Um, then we had like people with actual names. Henry the Fire Giant, you know. <laughs> um, you know, my favorite character, which was not planned, was the um, Rakshasa, mm. who was pretending to be a vampire lord. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Just because I didn't know how to introduce him, and then I hammed it up where he's just like, Bleh! <laughs> I was like, that was so dumb, but so fun. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. That, that whole like little sequence was really funny with the koala. <laughs> had a lot of fun putting you guys in really interesting decisions where they were both kind of bad decisions, but you had to make one of them. And I was like, this is fun. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I also have in here uh, Big Rod Energy uh, yeah. written in yeah. here. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's about it from the uh, 
the the fun and interesting random notes from uh that ted took on jordan's campaign um lots but of good trinkets lots of good trinkets uh, also continue to further me to make more trinkets on when we started most of those were in like the 30-ish number of trinkets and now at least five of the <clears throat> 13 classes have uh a hundred trinkets developed so that was a fun effort and still is ongoing also a couple people in the chat said i've inspired them to play blade singer yes enjoy terror uh, just making your dm really frustrated that they can't hit you um <laughs> but also be ready to be like that's kind of your thing you're gonna waste a turn every combat setting up that's just a that's what you do you're the tank now yeah you are the have tank fun. now it uh, really worked really well and we didn't have a typical healer and I know you had the 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 wand for, for cure wounds, and you had other stuff, but uh, that was, I don't know, like a a, a non typical D and D group can work really well. And yeah. now I want to play a game of like I don't know four fighters or something or four rogues. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because we, you know, I, I saw that a lot, a lot on the various YouTube comments. People saying like, "You guys get these people some hit points." Like, "Oh my God, this party's so squishy." Uh, <laughs> you don't have any tank, and then I had to respond like, "We we did though." Like I tanked not through HP, and I was like, yeah, Paladin was the other class, the other character I was gonna play, and I was like, well, yeah, that's heavy armor, that's strength, that's healing, that's tanking, this is exactly what we need. Fuck that, I'm gonna be a Jedi. Yeah. Like, you know, that's... Way better. <laughs> um, and it was a lot more fun. I had a lot much more uh, in enjoyment in doing that. So that was awesome, uh, getting a chance to try this out. And then, hey, I got actually a buff when Tasha's Cauldron came out to let me do things like Booming Blade and an yeah. extra attack. Um... But yeah, so I, again, if you guys let me know, make sure you send me your stories of your Lagwin inspired blade singer. I'd love to hear more about that. But yes, I had an absolute blast playing this campaign. It was a nice thing to look forward to every Wednesday to just be able to come out and hang out with everybody and uh, and play D and D uh, and not have to run it. If I'm being honest, which is also <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, I had no idea where this was gonna go. Uh, and it just, it was wild. Everything was ever, ever changing. Didn't know what was going to happen. I also very much enjoyed Shifter and Lagwin's rivalry. Uh, that, uh, even better when he forgot or they forgot, uh, what their, you know, who everybody was. And then the rivalry was just like completely reinvigorated to a whole nother level. Um, good times. Uh, so yeah, uh, my name is Ted. Uh, this is my channel. So this video will be coming out. It'll be up on my YouTube sometime uh, in the next week or so. Uh, and I'll have, uh, they're all available pretty much here on Twitch as well. And I'll do reruns of this throughout the week. So you guys can catch it again if you want to watch it live or live, pseudo live. Uh, and I make videos on YouTube about uh, Dungeons and Dragons. A lot of stuff about Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Uh, a big focus on that lately. Still got a lot more videos to go on that. Uh, should have a fun thing coming out next week um, uh, about some like best gift buying guides on like stuff for the DMs Guild. Um, that'll be cool. Uh, a couple more D and DIY like woodworking projects that anybody will be able to do if you're looking to make gifts, homemade gifts for your friends or your family or just yourself. You can be selfish. I don't care. Is that GIF gifts? I can I love homemade gifts. Uh, I I've made some. I'm not great at them, but I've made some. Uh, maybe I'll make a GIF and a gift, a GIF of okay. the gift. Um, anyway, uh, so that's, that's stuff that I do. I stream every Tuesday and now I can't say every Tuesday and Wednesday now, although the chat did, and I'll throw this out there to everybody. We don't know what's happening folks about future campaigns and stuff, but they, at, some people suggested possibly doing a Q and a, like a stream where we just talk to the chat and answer questions and whatever else, which may not be as satisfying for you if you have deep questions that might get solved in a future campaign involving these characters. But if you want it, we'll, we'll, we'll workshop it and see if people want to get together and do that. Um, this is just another excuse to get everybody to hang out and chat. So that's always yeah. fun. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be maybe back to do a and a If not, look for us sometime. And we'll keep you, we'll all keep you guys aware of what's going on as time as we figure things out, what we're going to do. Saw a lot of people throwing out Spelljammer since Jordan's been a, was on a Spelljammer kick for a little oh, while there. Uh, speaking of Spelljammer, better than Heroes, oh, yeah, they yeah. stream uh, a Spelljammer game and they invited me to be on their game. So Monday, I'm going to be on Better Than Heroes playing a Githyanki 
Warlock, and I'm really excited. They they have an artist, and they were like, "Well, what kind of like? How are you traveling around?" I'm like, "I don't know. I have a space motorcycle." And they're like, "Yes." <laughs> and so he made a space like spell jammer motorcycle. It's one person, and I just get a like, "Oh, it's so fun." So that's, and I'm only going to be there for one episode, but I'm really excited. So uh, that'll be Monday at some time. Watch my Twitter. I'll I'll sure to tweet it out, but it'll be fun. So that's on uh, Twitch. And yeah, if we're going to do a and a it would be here on Twitch, basically, probably in the same time slot. In this time slot, yeah. Yeah, just to that keep it sense. simple for everybody. So yeah, uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. We'll post about it once we figure it out. Uh, and yeah, it, it's sad to see it go. Always sad to see a campaign end, but it ended on a good note. Uh, I think we don't really know if there's blood in the rod. Ah, it's not important. <laughs> it's going to take somebody a long time to figure that out. Uh, and maybe we'll be dead by then. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we will see you all soon, hopefully with a Q&A, if not early next year. But we're all around. Follow everybody's social medias and you'll see everybody's doing cool stuff. So um, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.